Now we, now they are fed. So why? It will be we, 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 they are fed. Now we now go still, some of us go still come to support them. Now shameful thing. Look at, come on chicken. Come on chicken, chicken. 15,000 for, come on chicken. Chick will be the, now we will require for here. If we they get expiring dates, those ones with the donkey, you know, quick go buy them. They go pack and go one corner. Now throw away, now for animal. Nine Nigerians, they suffer. So no see money to buy. Come on, chicken. It's very unfortunate. It wasn't like this before. To buy fowl before not the big thing. Every family fear for that. No guy they be. If you don't know buy the very big one, but na foul, na foul, you still buy the one it look like lake lake. Does see see you say carry foul? But if you buy, but now you know who see the lake lake buy. It's very unfortunate. We're going for by the last video. <coughs> Excuse me. We Peter ah as we they talk, uh, Atta Samuela. Thank you very much for this your super chat. Joy Higi. Ah, thank you very much for your support. Now going by it will be talk. For the studio, they will want they will be confused yourself. They forget to say what he just said is correct. The hardship now is very, very hard. And if they are coming to share money. The electoral act forbids them not to share money. That is the truth. Vote buying is illegal, it's unlawful by the law. And since police and EFCC and the rest, they only pretend not to see the main people with the share money. Now, the small, small, they go to the door, example. Then, you reach your turn, they carry money, give you now your money taker. No reject them. Do the way that they do you. Because they go come, they go deceive you. They go lie to you. They go talk what they don't go feed you. Enter there. Carry your money. Put that for your, their pocket. They build houses. They use private jet. So if they break out of the money, come say, make the city buy your conscience. You will not be moving now. Now Peter will be say, now your money, if they give you, if they come meet you, they say, take, 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 collect her. For pocket vote that person where you don't say go help you. Not two ways about it. Sometimes I go and say no need to collect the money. Now lie, need today. Anybody you the pack money, come on and collect the money. Collect the money, but more than do for your eye. May no sooner not stupid. You go lose vote, you go lose the money. Now, now money before we effective. This were money made for project. This were money made for, for development. This were money made for infrastructures. This were money made for many things that were not done, that were not carried out. A few were done, they were substandardly done just for the camera of it. That it did not last long, few months or more. It's finished. It's finished. It's gone. Stop standardly. Some of us go to say, he tried. But I did shame for many of us anyway. He tried more than leave her. The federal who sent you. Now like picking, let the picking also he try. Somebody carry your money, come do substandard road. For play to way there abroad, I want to ask that question. All the road that I don't see that they make, and I don't see where they commission are now. They see who they do. No, no big question. You were there abroad, go see the from abroad. They say more than leave her. He try, he do road. Which road? This is not evidence of democracy now. Now, this age, person, they use road, the campaign, they money. Hey? Now, this age, some of us, because they say, you don't like to, I the pity you now. now be, many of you now, before now, go come up for, for slavery, you go hard. Because now, the corner says sleep. Thank God, say, I'm not one of them. Hey, it don't straight like to, Jesus. At this age, with the billions of billions of naira that is supposed to be used, 
You are the celebrate. Mune Mune. Oh God. When I see people coming to say, yes, Liva, are the shame. Why are they shame? I don't know the shame for those who in Nigeria. Many of us who are there abroad. When I forget, say, what are they? When I go wake up for night now, see, say, they want to do road. I don't know. It's, they can't allow you to do yourself. They go just put them for board. See the day where they go finish up. Eh, you know, they pass that day. I see the finish and they go open up. You know, go see canopy. You know, go see, say that the commission that they do party with government money again. Who, who they spend that money? They go account for all this money now. Come and see what they are doing. Better road, they go destroy the dorm again. They don't know if they go through their problem. Nothing. My brother, I the shame so many of us where they are, bro. I the shame. I the shame. No, leave those ones with your day in Nigeria. We never see. But now we they are abroad, we don't see. We see how matter they be. We they see proper development. Now see clap and not be slave will not be. Yes, wiki matter. No, we just leave that one because I know what you talk about wiki matter. We all know say wiki. Anytime we retire for government. Nigerians go miss him. They go miss him one for you wahala for you begay. Two for you. The fear we know the fear now to talk with him be the truth. It will be not us now because say the ticket nourish your hand. Yes. Because ticket nourish your hand the verse they talk the truth. And that's all we water. So we could give her less. Time to talk. Ah, thank God we don't get Mada Rita and Mada Omoyes come here. Yeah. Before I less, you don't forget our super chat. Too. Eh, another one, just to call. I never just look. I not no. just look. Joy Ege. Yes. Joy Ege there. Yes, Joy Ege. Oh, thank you. Yes, I don't feel mission, uh, Atta. Atta, thank you very much for your support. Okay. Ah, Joseph Oji. Okay. Many, many, just they on the other. You're the pile up. We don't know. Make are the remover from top. Joseph Oji, thank you very much. God go bless you now. Today's super chat sweet meal. Just with me at the time, they don't even want me to talk, self. But thank God, we we'll still allow us to talk. But when I y'all do a committee, they will join ourselves. We'll come join on very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Alice, talk to us. Okay, Alice, they chop chicken. Now, more, more, ah, more Alice. Eh, we'll go leave her more. Maybe I'll read her. Just start from there. We'll go leave Alice. No, no, oh, hold on, hold on. I'll call you. Hold on, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Wait, how many I'm people you need to talk to? Hold on, uh, hello, I'm here. I'm a dependable person, don't worry. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm training myself to be a future leader, to, 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 uh, to work under, under pressure. <laughs> oh, I hope so you know, Christmas, you do under pressure. I hope so, you know, they are signed <laughs> questions or answers to other people, eh? No, no, no. I will visit places of distress. I will visit crime scene myself. I will visit For project chicken. sites. I will For make sure I give, I, I relate. I, 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 I will make sure I relate with my citizens one on one. Not, not these ones they are doing. They don't know leadership. Never again I will going to have a government. If I eventually become a governor, a president that will rule through social media or or, or prosing. We copy good things. We we always talk about Western world. We see how they how they react to to this distress call of citizens. Very prompt. They, they are not perfect, but we should copy good things and care for humanity. We need somebody who can set the pace. Bemudia tried, but after then we have a set of dumb score people who have issues with their certificates always, especially in those states, and that has led us to a disastrous way of governance, which has led to more poverty, flooding killings, insecurity, looting, raping, and so on and so forth. So next time, let's vote wisely. Let's vote leaders who, who are passionate. Anyways, away from that, uh, <laughs> Mr. Leftist, <laughs> I bet you will leave me. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Leftist, you will leave me. La, oh, go yes. go on. <laughs> I don't do you anything. Now. You talk, 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 I don't talk. You still go call my name. <laughs> <laughs> I did the video, any of the video they show. I resemble wiki. <laughs> you always disturb me now. 
<laughs> okay, okay. You know, you know, disturb me for this one. Talk to us. Okay. Uh, for Wiki, I can't love Wiki less. I can't respect him less. I can't, I can't, I can't write about him less. Posterity will read about him in a positive light. This is this is the kind of whether he's motivated by anything, we don't care. Nancy Mandela was motivated by something to be in jail for 27 years. It takes it takes conviction to do these things. Don't vote people who don't have conviction. Conviction can come from books. Conviction can come from you know, you know, from ideology or from your specialization. Doctors are convinced that they are made, they are there to save lives. Lawyers are convinced that they are made to stand for justice or win court cases. So leaders should be convinced that they are there to serve. You see leaders in some countries, when things happen, you, 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 you will see them break into tears uncontrollably. They will not be consoled because even if it's a natural disaster, especially when it has to do with government failure, some of them will resign. Some of them will do, they will reshuffle their cabinets. Some of them will conduct emergency elections. So for me, Wiki has demonstrated to us what I've always said. We need people, more people from the humanity studies who have good heart. I know that uh, there are some people who are, who are crafty, who are bad, who are also lawyers, who are also from the humanities, but let's look at the good side of it. A great number of people who has changed the course of history have been from that area of life. J.F. Kennedy, who worked closely, who worked closely with, with Martin Luther King Jr. He was a journalist from the humanities. Abraham Lincoln, who laid the foundation of the democracy, who laid, who laid the foundation of the, of the democracy you guys are enjoying in America today. He was from the humanities, a lawyer. Nancy Mandela, who brought down the strong structure of the white domination of the black of the black uh, majority there? He was a lawyer, was in jail for 27 years. That takes a lot of conviction to do that. He left his wife, he left his family at a very you know at the prime of his age. So we can go on. And Obama today was the first black man to fulfill the to fulfill the political prophecy of of uh, Luther King Jr. He was a lawyer, a senator, he was a lawyer. So with respect to other areas of life, everybody is important. But for me, don't just wake up. I believe a medical doctor should be saving lives. I believe if you read agriculture, you should be working in that area. I believe if you are a pilot, you should be dealing with planes. This is what we call specialization. If you, if you plot the graph, there's uh, a there is an organizational structure graph you do in politics in three in three hundred level or so. You plug that graph. Everybody has their own areas. I don't buy the idea of a medical doctor venturing into politics. For me, yes, you may want to argue for the sake of argument. So what we can do for me, not to deviate so much, it just brings me to tears sometimes. A man can be so selfless. You can hardly hear him talk for five minutes, three minutes, without mentioning reverse people. My people, it's not what I want, it's what reverse state wants. We, we, you know, we are very, you know, we, we are very quick to commit the sin of over familiarity. Some of us don't know how to regard people because we know them, we are in our country. If Wike was in America, he was in UK, doing what he's doing, probably we, we would regard him more. A prophet has no honor, in Nigerian politics, in his own house. So we will, we will remember him, because the guy has done what even Napoleon could not do. He has done what Christopher Columbus could not do. I'm grateful to come from the same land as that man, a true son of the land. He's challenging all the corrupt Kaaba. He's challenging federal. This, this is the first man I've seen in my life under this government that told Buhari, if you want war, I will give you war. Under the COVID, you know, when, when COVID-19 was at its peak, there was a no-flight zone declared on the nation. And the president gave a presidential pass to 16 white men from Chevron and Cher to fly into River State without the imprimatur of the governor of the state. Guess what? He went there in person 
this, you don't you don't get it. That's leadership. There were no vaccines. We could have been killed. Maybe those guys were carriers. We could have been killed because that thing goes with you know contact. He, he picked them up. He organized emergency conference, media conference, press conference. He told the president of the country, "You put a law and you are breaking it in my state. You cannot come and pollute my state." I'm quoting him now. He said, "If you want war, I will give you war." My dear brothers and sisters, it's not difficult to know a true son of the land. It's not difficult to know where one of you is in power. Esther, in the Bible, when Israel had problem in Babylon, they were in captivity. They were about to be wiped out. Just like the way the federal government is about to wipe out those in the eastern region of this country. Esther forgot herself. Her uncle said, you would, won't you wake up? Won't you wake up? If you do not save us, God will send another savior, but you are going to be destroyed. Esther went, he said, I will fast for three days. If I perish, I perish. That's how to know a leader. That's how to know somebody from, from, from among you. Not what we have in a dual state. So for me, uh, Wike has demonstrated to us that he's fearless. He knows the meaning of the word excellency. He knows the meaning of the word leadership. He knows the meaning of the word honorable. He knows the meaning of the word citizenship. He knows the meaning of the word development. For his, I'm not saying he's a perfect man. He has his own area, dark areas or, 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 or I mean, maybe he's, I mean, he has his own issues. But the point is this, for the past two years now, the guy has been bombarding the cinematography of Nigerian politics with a lot of positive vibes. Le leadership vice. He could have pocketed his monies and walked away like Lucky Billy John did in those states. He could have put his money in his pocket, transfer it to 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 Liechtenstein, to London, to Spain, like 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 Osomole did with the Waterstone Project money, thirty billion uh, thirty billion era, and, and nothing will happen. He's already used to the cabals in London, but it's a man driven with passion. I'm sure he's from a poor home. He didn't forget his humble beginnings. He drove in those streets of River State. He knew what it is to drive in a bad road. He must have stayed in a mechanic shop for weeks waiting for his car to be fixed. Probably he couldn't have forced papers. He knew the sufferings of the common man. This is leadership. Don't elect a leader. Never again in the those states do we elect leaders who are imported from Lagos, who, who, who has never felt the pain of the common adult people. So we can demonstrate to us vis-a-vis -vis governorship. He must have he must have gone days, weeks without his car because something spoiled because he passed a bad road. I cannot I cannot figure out or phantom what else could be the motivation about him building flyovers. He must have stayed in traffic in River State for two hours, for three hours, maybe for for twenty four hours, and he made up his mind: should I in any way by omission or by commission? Become a governor in this state. I will fix road. God help me. I will fix road. And now he's fulfilling his destiny. Not everybody is a money monger like our Ido State governor. Not everybody is adamant like our Ido State governor. Not, not one, one. I'm not saying there are no pockets of crime in River State. But the way we can go about it, headlong, he place, you know, price tag. If you can get us these criminals, 50 million naira for you. 20 million around for you. Give us information. If you see something, say something. This is how to provide leadership. So for me, I'm not a, a touching story. Somebody who lived in River State, high witness told me that it was it was a rainy day in River State, the Potakot. We could drove past a project area and the project was already completed, but there was a little flood in there. There was erosion. The guy was overgasted. He slowed down his, his car. He slowed down those driving him. And he called the contractor right on the spot. For over one, one to two hours, it was raining. Wicked's car was there until the man drove there and he addressed the contractor. My friend told me in two weeks that that place was rectified. When it rained, there was no erosion there. This is leadership. We can move around to project areas. He, I mean, he used the best. Lou Bricks, Seth Traco, Julius Berger. I can't remember when last I saw Julius Berger in a door state. Maybe it will be in the, in the, in the late 80s. Maybe to be in the early 90s, we've had a set of disappointing, fraudulent, criminal governors from the days of Lucky Munition, Dan Osomole, the now Baseki, continuing the manipulations, the, the, the brainwashing of diasporans, 
the television governors, social media governors, the killings of citizens, the 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 the, the full and alignment, the invasion of farmlands. And those states used to be one of the food baskets of the southern region. Now is the poverty hub of the region. And those states is ten years backwards. So we is telling us this is the way to go. There is no other way to govern people where you cannot reach out to the poor, where you don't feed their poor, where you don't feed their pains, where you don't visit the project site, where you don't visit the market site, where you don't know how project has been are being executed, where you don't insist on quality instead of quantity. So, guys, Wiki inspires me. Wiki makes me appreciate myself. Coming from the humanity, I'm very happy. I'm very glad we, we have a man like that. We may not value him now. We may, we may judge him with his weaknesses. Don't forget, Donald Trump blamed Obama that Obama was foolish for killing, for allowing Gaddafi to be killed. What does that tell you? And Obama also blamed Donald Trump for allowing invasion of the White House by protesters. So no leadership that does not have weaknesses. But let your weaknesses be like 10%, not, uh, not 95%. So for me, Wiki is part of his weaknesses. You have shown me how to love your citizens. You have shown me how to fight for your people. You have shown me how to use the gorilla warfare against theory. You have shown me how to be, you know, how to be um, selfless, how to deliver, how to, you know, how to be bold, how to stand on your ground and do the right thing. When you are doing the right thing at some point, even your enemies will come and say, well done. Even Buhari had to name him the best governor. And when last was a governor named the best governor from Edo State? When last? Do we forbid it in Edo State? Are we cost? Are we a cost people? When did the, has any governor, you know, gave, given us a project that will wow the world, like River State and Ebony State and a few other states are doing? So let me go to uh, Peter Abis' speech about collecting money from voters. My dear brothers and sisters, poverty has been weaponized. The land is bleeding. Don't believe what you see on TV. Those programs you see on TV a lot of times are addicted. That's why I pity people when they, when they tell me a just state is working. Ah, you are living in fool's paradise. You are chasing a wild goose chase. You are, you are on a wild, wild goose chase. Because a just state is bleeding. Nigeria is bleeding. Peter Obi said that, not because he wanted to say it. If Peter Obi can rescue Nigeria today, right now, he will do it. What can he say? When the land over the years, for more than 20 years of democracy, has been, you know, it's been monetized, it's been agrarized, it's been, I mean, it's been, it's been plagued under a perpetual, you know, ambit or enclave of wicked men, men who continue to masturbate themselves. On the corridors of power without conscience. Look at what Dino Melaye does. Look at what Festus Kayamu does. Look at what Rotemi Amechi is doing. Look at what Fanika Ede is doing. Young people who are supposed to be inspiring us. Gentlemen and ladies, they are busy collecting money from these men. So, collect money and vote your conscience is what we use under a do state secretary election to bring in this government. They came with Bullion Van. Oshomula was there with them. We defeated them with one man, one vote, and defending of your vote. So uh, I do not really preach such, such gospel, but uh, Peter Obi said it because he had seen it. Remember, he visited the flood victims. He visited the, 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 the IDP camps. He knows the suffering in the land. He's the only person who is connecting with the people's problems. The other, the other parties are just busy telling people, I will remember you. You, you uh, appreciate this crowd. But this guy is telling you, we, we want to give you jobs. We, we want to bring agriculture. We want to stop hunger. We want to feed Africa. We, we want to employ our young people. We want to make diasporans vote. We want to bring people who are brought back home. We want to change this country. This is the only man that is connected. So if you make such statements, even if it's against my personal practice, I dare to say I will have to submit at his feet. So say yes, collect money and vote your conscience and vote Mr. Peter Obi. Thank you. Yes, Alex, thank you. <clears throat> collect money and still go ahead to vote your conscience. After all, you didn't go to their house to beg them for the money. 
they come around you and be saying they must you must vote for them they want to give you the money collect the money put for your pocket go there and vote your conscience and move away a boy day a boy day nothing they happen we know so that day election day they go full, give money to agents they go fool many for around the police center they find way to right. at least bribe people Thank you. beavers who they pull might let me just quickly read. these beavers make we not put mind the way i neck the talker more we must be very careful and watchful all of us pull hope for beavers say beavers new beavers for some of us where they say beaver they're not a lie beavers where they use for osu states show that they hear now say they they did over voting cut door feminine in some areas where they use beavers, where the overvoting for coming, I hate to enter. I hate to enter now because now what if now 10 people is about to be 10? I can't be 11. Why the machine? Why they not see her before they declare the result? So we must be very careful of INEC. <clears throat> they are playing games, mind games with us by saying that uh, with this new technology, now lie. They, it's a mind game. Now they get the machine now they get the hacking now they know what they want to they make some area over voting or not i never said they're not carrying the go court now where they see over voting and they don't actually agree see there was over voting and they actually use beavers for that area then what it happened to beavers it means i next now why you so people what could not give apc and pdp chance so no wonder they relax, they allow us to worry ourselves, say they know what they want to this time. We we'll go shock them. Yes, Mr. Elvis, you can continue from there if you still have if you are still there to talk, or we'll just go straight to Madame Rita. Madame Rita, talk to us. Um, yes, thank you. Um, so I left it. Merry Christmas, everyone listening to me. Merry Christmas, Mommy Diaspora. Um, okay, I would say. You know, speaking about the beav the beavers, um, I think the more encouraging word to say is that um, even if we know that um, the software, uh, the so-called software um, beavers, called beavers, um, uh, possibly is not an a very effective um, software, and so that's why you know I keep appealing, I keep appealing. Please, if you're hearing my voice, please, if you have connections with software developers, hackers, people who are very computer savvy. Please, we need you on election day. We need you. We need you to, 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 to go through the systems, the so-called Beaver systems, so that we can capture, um, you know, the kind of tricks that the APC and the PDP are going to play on that day. Because um, take it or leave it. Even if we say it, the Beavers is not in, is effective, it's not effective, but what are you going to do with the lemons that you have? You know, so apart from securing your vote, standing by your vote, we also need... Um, we also need help with the electronic side, the software aspect. So if you know anybody or if you are a software expert, please contact Nigel Watch, please. It's very, very essential and it's very, very important. Thank you. So going by, um, like I've been watching so far and um, what I've seen, <laughs> watching the show between uh, Kenneth Okonkwo and the other two um, surrogates of um, APC and PDP, it, 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 it felt like, a tiger, right? A large cat, like a tiger or a lion, in the midst of an overfed orangutan, and a pro. Uh, this is I think there's a kind of monkey they call a um, proboscis monkey. It's, I think P R O B O S C I S. You can Google it and uh, you see the kind of monkey I'm talking about. A proboscis monkey and an overfed orangutan, and that 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 is what you know. Kenneth Okonko was dealing with. So you just see them rambling. They, they are both primates, you know, they, they belong to the same class of mammals. So there's none of them are different from each other, you know. So they should just continue playing the game of who is the bigger loser, you know. As, uh, it was just it was just a very delicious um, interview. I'm personally going to go and rewatch that um, whole interview on Arise TV like two or three times just to get my feel. And I'm so happy, you know, when I see um someone like governor wiki coming out and spewing out a lot of information um you know that he had the opportunity to know about and he's just telling us so you know people have a little bit of insights of what's really what really goes on 
you know, behind those closed doors, you know, behind those oval offices, behind those um, big wooden doors, you know, behind the agbadas and inside those bulletproof cars. We, I mean, we're all seeing what the kind of discussions that these guys make. And, you know, the bottom line is, you know, if you have a leader who loves his people, you know, you, you can't just be a leader just because people give you the opportunity. You ought to, first of all, love your people. Be proud of where you're coming from. Be proud of, you know, um, um, the village you come from. Be proud of your people. Be proud of your culture. Be proud of your, um, your, your tribe. You know, once you have that within you, no matter where you are, it doesn't go away from you. And I think Governor Wike is an, is, is a, is an example of a man who loves his people, who is proud of where he came from, he's proud of his people, and he identifies with the grassroots. I mean, even looking at, you know, his career, you know, from local government chairman, you know, from I think from secretary to local government chairman, you know, to a minister, you know, you know. No, from, 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 from councillor, madam, from councillor. Oh, from the councillor. But Mawike is a grassroots politician, and I think that's kind of an ingredient. I think that is what is even helping him understand more what happens in the grassroots and that's why he's able to identify with his people that's why he's able to understand the body language of the people and then when you when you do that as a leader you can easily capture your people easily so easily without even bribing you don't need to bribe them when they see that your talk is your talk and you're doing what you say you're going to do they, there's nothing else that you can do that you can do to convince the people. People will think it's juju. It's not juju. It's because they, they know this man understands them. He understands these people. He understands the lowest of the lowest in society. He understands their pain. So that's why we're seeing all these things happening. And that's why he said, I am speaking because after I speak, I am free. I am free. He's talking about his conscience. He knows that when he leaves Port Harcourt, when he leaves Port Harcourt as governor, I mean he's gonna be in Port Harcourt, but when he leaves Port Harcourt as, as a constituted authority in Port Harcourt, he knows that he's free. He knows that he can walk into any of the markets freely. And even the women will give, give him food freely. They will love him. They will hail him. But we have, you know, people who have had that opportunity before, constituted that authority, they can't even walk on their streets. They don't even live on their street in their state. They live in either in diaspora or in Abuja. They, they can't do that because they know that definitely somebody's going to pour, a, a, you know, urine in, in, a, in, a, in a cellophane and throw it at them, you know. So... It is, it is good that we start to learn things. I'm sure, I am very, very sure that the way Governor Wike is being braggadocious with what he is doing in River State, a lot of governors are actually looking guilty. They're actually feeling guilty. They're actually looking, I don't want to use the S word, but you know, most of them are like, like that. You know, you could see that, oh my God, this is what this man has done. This is where he's getting his money. And this is what he has mm -hmm. done. We're talking about IMAC. IMAC project. IMAC, something you can feel and touch. Something you can feel. It's not intangible. It's not in cyberspace. Something you can feel, touch, and see. That is what Governor Wiki is doing. Now, how can you challenge that now? If I want to juxtapose it with a uh, those state, that is my state. That's what I'm talking about, the state. You know, I don't care if anybody say I'm being overzealous, you know, comparing it. Said, I have to because that's the state I am from. Charity begins at home. IMAC, something you can touch, feel, and see. Real life, not virtual, not on the social media. This is what it is. You have to identify with the people. And when you do that, there's no way that the people cannot even um, um, support you in anything that you're doing. He understands the dynamic of drawing people to you. That's what Governor Wike is doing. Take it or leave it. A lot of people are inspired by it. No matter what anybody says about him, they are inspired by his method of connecting with the people. And I'm sure Governor Baseki now, maybe with this street light, a local government work that he did, he now realizes, okay, let me do something because election is coming. Let me do something to show to the people this is what I've done. Well, shine your eye, people. I know some people are still blind. It's okay. Thank God for you know stations like Ninja Watch. We are here to educate people. We are here to open the, the the conscience and the mind to stir up the mind to romance your mind so your mind your mind can open because a lot of people's minds have been blocked completely, completely blocked. And thank God for the internet too. So we are here to educate people. We don't hate anybody. We're not saying some people say oh, you are a sore loser because you lost, but they are forgetting that it's not just about being a sore loser. What happens after losing an election? It's not about you. That's what people don't understand about governance and leadership. 
It's not about you. It's about the people. They've entrusted something to you. They've entrusted their tax, the, 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 the taxpayers' money. They've entrusted the, the natural resource of, of that state to you. So it's not about who is a loser or who is a winner. But, you know, I think some people are so emotionally connected to some useless leaders that they think it's about the leaders, forgetting that this leader is taking off, is making decisions for you, for your mother in the market, for even for your children and your generation. The decisions they're making today would affect your generation. So it's not really about the loser or who won. That's not what the issue is about. And when you are criticizing, it doesn't mean you hate. It doesn't mean that you, you, you have some personal vendetta or you just hate that person personally. It's not about that. The problem with many Edo people to till date is that some of them is just either by because of pride, because of pride, or some of them are just silent because they know that they have been deceived. You know, they say silence means complacency. But for me, I also say silence also means shame. Silence also means shame so in sometimes. Because when you know that you have been deceived and you know the cutting the, the, the scale has fallen off from your eyes. You now realize, oh, I've made a mistake. But instead of working to correct that mistake, making sure that the person who has made that mistake, you know, turns around and do the right thing, they keep quiet. And that's why some people who were in this station before they left, it's out of shame. That's how I see it. Even if they don't want to admit it, I know for sure it's out of shame. But I'm, no, I'm not ad ad admonishing anybody or trying to put anybody down. I'm just saying the bottom line is not about me. It's not about Nigeria. Well, it's not even about you. It's about our future generations. And that's why you have to keep speaking up. It is not about hate, people. Open your brains. It's not about hate. Keep speaking to truth. If your governor is not doing well, you say you're not doing well. Challenge him. He's not a god. He's just, I don't, it's, it's just the seat you are, we are, we are, we are respecting. It's not the human being, it's the seat. That's why when you swear an oath, we are respecting that oath the person swore to. It is not about that person. So that's why you have the right to speak up. You have the right to question things. Nobody to date has able to even ask who is the contractor of the biscuit roads in Edo State? Who is the contractor of the contractor of Ekewa Road? Who is the contractor? Nobody, we're not seeing anything at least. Those of you in diaspora, if you're seeing they're building anything, you will see a big sign, sign, sign post saying, this is the contractor, this is their office, this is the telephone number. It's, it's non-existent in Edo State. Just, I'm just going to just pinpoint on that now. Forget, it, forget about the incomplete House of Assembly. Just pinpoint on just that. Have you ever seen anywhere where the, you don't even know the contractor? It's a fraudulent government. That is black and white. It's not, it's not rocket science to think about it. So stop de defending a bad market. Stop defending and try to cover up and say, in fact, anybody who talks to me below that, I don't, I don't want to really listen because you are disturbing my mental, my, my intellectual capacity. Because when you're supporting something that is glaringly and openly not right, there's something wrong with you and I cannot relate with you. That's why sometimes when people talk, I just keep quiet because there's no point. I can't, I can't open my book cavity and be talking to somebody who is obtuse minded. It's impossible for me. I can't be drawn back 100 yards more. You know, so, you know, we need to speak up. I am very proud that Governor Wicked is doing what is for his state. You know, I'm happy for them. And I believe he can do more. You know, like I, I never praise um, any constituted authority because it is your money. It is it is the, the state money, the people's money. So if you're a good administrator, you're a good leader, and you know how to spend the money expeditiously, and you know how to connect with your people, and you, you understand the ills and the pains of your people, kudos to you. You know, you're a good administrator. That's that's what you're a good leader. That's that's what it is. You know, I and I don't I don't sugarcoat my words. And um, speaking about um, uh, my president Peter De Rock Obi, you know that comment he made about you know take your money because it is it is your money it is your money. You know the money that they give you is a bribe you. You know to um, to vote for them. It is your money. Take it. I have said it before. I see sometime last year. Yes, any money any government official give you, it's your money really. Although we know that that is not even a good incentive, you know, in our electoral system, but this is Nigeria. This is what we have to see today. I mean, the Agbado man said, uh, "Empower doesn't come a la carte. You have to take it, snatch it, and run away with it. Grab it, snatch it, and run away with it." I don't know why the media don't actually pinpoint on that constantly, you know. But if Peter Obi says these things and say, "Collect the money, but vote for me," because I will transform your lives. Is that yes, great, Madam <laughs> Is deliberate. They are deliberate. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, they don't want to talk about that. 
Yes, but yes, we, yes, I know. And but if you look at the flip side, anyone who's a psychologist, or if you understand this system, when you say such a thing, you're actually sending a message to the opposition who law who think their money will give them what they want. Like you are making a risk because if you give them this money, we are also preaching to the people and conditioning the people's mind that take the money, but that is not a guarantee that I will vote for you. So it's actually trying to even curb that um, um system of vote buying. Because he's trying to tell them now, the people are aware that they can collect your money and they might not still vote for you. So it's, it's actually even helping them if you want to reverse this um, that comment in such a way. But people who are not really intelligent, they'll just look at it on face value, just like the ones, the uh, 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 what they could the surrogates, the orangutans and the pro 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 uh, monkeys of APC and, and, and PDP will come out and say, oh, he shouldn't have said that. In fact, they, in fact, they have no right to even say that, safe because you're dealing with a drug baron and you're dealing with a criminal on both sides. So what are they? What do they have to say? You understand? What do they really have to say? So I am very happy he said that. You know, that is sending a message to them, APC and PDP. If you want to waste your money, go ahead. Give, give, give the people their own money, but they're not going to vote for you. You know, so that would also kind of stop the vote buying because vote buying, is not a guarantee that that person will vote for you, really and truly, you know, except if there's physical uh, uh, intimidation, like the, the likes of um, uh, MC Oluomo, you understand, that physically uh, assault people, intimidate people, taking, snatching their uh, um, uh, voters' card and you know, all doing all those kinds of things. But really and truly, if this beavers is actually working, I pray it works the way it should. Um, I So for some reason, I don't have any fear, but um, having... Um, and feeling and reality are two different things, right? So in reality, we ought to defend our votes. In reality, we need people who are computer savvy. In reality, we need people who are hackers, people who, who, are, who are blessed and intelligent with software development. We need them for the Labour Party. We need them on election day. And please, sponsor an agent. Everybody listen to me. Sponsor an agent to, um, to video everything, wherever they are in your village or in your state. Sponsor one or two people just for that day, even if it's 20,000 Naira or 10,000 or something, you know, it is very, very necessary so that we have evidences because we're also working for the party. And one thing Peter Obi said when he came to Canada, you know, people were talking about um, um, di diaspora voting. He said, he said, let me make all of you understand something. If you guys vote me as a president of Nigeria, let it be known that 2023 will be the last year any diaspora will not be able to vote from diaspora. So those of you in diaspora now, some of you that don't have paper to travel, you would have loved to. If you know that when there's any election coming up in Nigeria now, governorship or um, 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 uh, federal house of rep or even state house of, of representation or even presidency, know that voting this man, at least this is one thing that you will gain. At least this is a power that you have. Voting this man in means that you can vote from diaspora. You will not need to spend almost three or five thousand dollars or euro to buy ticket to go when it, when it's the election time. You can vote internationally. So if you want that, why would you not vote for Peter Jirokobi? Why would you not want to vote for Labour? Why? If if it's just that alone, forget about the other economic thing. Just that that is giving you a power internationally. You have power to vote to change things. Internationally, you have power to change something. You have power to 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 to, to change the generation of, of of where we are seeing Nigeria now. Just do that. Vote for Labour Party. Make sure Peter Obi becomes president, and you will not need to spend money to go and vote again. You can vote from diaspora. If that alone he achieves, I will be so happy because we have millions of Nigerians in diaspora. Millions. Millions that will have voted that will change the trajectory of politics in Nigeria. Because if most of us in diaspora can vote, trust me, this vote buying and all those intimidation will be wasted. Because if you want to, if you want to intimidate MC Oluoma or Kabaka, they want to intimidate one million people. They, they will realize that there are ten million Nigerians living outside Nigerians that can change the votes. Just think about that. Just think about the power that you would have as a diaspora. It's not about whether you are educated or not. As long as you are a Nigerian. You can vote. Just think about that. Think about a man that can change that. That alone should make you, should ginger you to say, you know what? Is Peter Obi or nobody else?
because me, I won't vote as I did Italy. I won't vote as I did Canada. I won't vote as I did Russia. I won't vote as I did London. I won't vote as I did Ireland. I won't vote as I did India. I won't vote as I did Singapore. I won't vote as I did Malaysia. I won't vote as I did Ghana. I won't vote because as I did Senegal. I won't vote because I did Saudi Arabia. You can vote. You can vote. Join of in diaspora. Make sure Peter will be win because it means that in next any next election, you can vote from where you are. So that is why this is one of the main reasons why this man has to be the president. Is Peter will be on nobody else. Is Peter will be on nobody else. Spirit and APC, you are hearing me. Is Peter will be on nobody else because me, I want to vote from diaspora. I want to vote from Antarctica. I want to vote from Russia. I want to vote from India. I want to vote from Netherlands. I want to vote from Germany, Belgium, Italy, Spain, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Dubai, Malaysia, Singapore, India. There's a lot of Bangladesh. There are Nigerians in all those places. We need to vote from there. So this is what you have to do, my, my people. Thank you very much. Do you know, uh, Mother Rita, um, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much for uh, that wonderful delivery right there. Trust me. Do you know that Peter will be actually promised, it's one of his campaign promises, that if he wins, in fact, he mentioned that, and I quote, unquote, he said, this will be the last election in Nigeria where diasporans cannot vote. So what Mandarita is saying is wonderful because Peter will be, I've already stated that. I would like to quickly reference to that quickly, quickly with the video. Then we can um, move on to the next person, please, my people. Because we, when we are talking like this, we need to make it a reality. Uh, help us to share and like. God bless you. And that you are not running for president. You are running for president through us. Now, whatever you say about the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter B, one thing you can't deny or take away from him is the powerful passion and compelling zeal of his supporters. Such is their intensity and dedication that they seem to trump any of the inequities of the Peter B movement and whatever advantages the other three front-runner parties might have. When asked about this, his supporters say that in the same way that George Floyd became a symbol of the Black Lives Matter movement and Masa Amini has become a symbol of the fight against the oppression of women in Iran, so has Peter B become an ideological symbol of the fight for justice and equity in Nigeria, a fight that's being led by the youth who want to see a new generation of honest, committed leaders. Who? Can you trust to fight for you? Vote Peter Obi for president. Vote the Labour Party. What I want to know is that all these things I've done it at a particular level, and the results were clear. I'm only asking for the opportunity to do it for the country. So, 2023 election will not be about tribe. No, don't vote for me because I'm from Southeast, I'm an Igbo man. It will not be about religion. The 23 election should not be about my tongue. It's nobody's tongue. The country cannot continue to go the way it's going to be. We must stop it. It is you that will stop it. The reason why we have all these problems is cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. And this is the time to stop it. 2023 is the last time that Chilean diaspora has not food. Yeah. You cannot exclude your best brain from voting. It's impossible. If Angola can do it, Ghana can do it, South Africa can do it. They can do it. Nigeria must do it. It's structure of criminality, structure of corruption. I that is the structure of the country.
you thank you i wanted to quickly tally that up because we have lots of videos on our on our software here we can reference to any kind of speech here especially the positive ones and they also come to the negative ones from these satanic two parties we have them we have all of them here thank you very much my people for your time with us we appreciate you all uh merry christmas merry christmas to every one of you right there on the comment section uh and those of you that is watching us we appreciate you all. We have a super chat right here on the screen with us from Esther Onagise. Thank you very much. Uh, that the last name there, you know, is, is similar to a man that used to be with us here on this channel. You know, uh um, the man with the shock us. <coughs> yes, let me let me shock you guys. That that that's his uh, our Nepal man. Exactly. So as I see that on Agise, so that was the first thing I remember. Majawash, please, can I quickly respond to somebody on the comment section? I, I just saw something. Hold just on. for one minute. No, no, please hold on. Hold on. All right. I appreciate every one of you right there in the comment section. Now, God, now God bless you now. I beg, make sure you listen to that delivery from. Please, please, please mute yourself. The, the music on anybody's side is disrupting the media. Please. Thank you. All right. I uh, appreciate you all. Now, God, now God bless all of you now. Uh, I beg, make sure I help us to share this broadcast and like the broadcast. Remember, we have a primary reason why we are here. How in Nigeria can become a better place? How in Nigeria can become a better country? Where you and I can travel back home without no fear. Where you and I can actually move back home. Because many of you, many of us are tired already in abroad. If for, a, for, for example, you can testify to this Christmas now. I can say that 95% of us, all of us spend the Christmas for his house. You know, then 95% nice nice house you spend them. You wake up this morning, you eat, you watch till late, you eat, you watch till you finish. And if we round up this broadcast right now, you define another uh, thing we want to watch again just to keep or fight the bottom. So to be honest, my people, home is home. There's nothing like home. But the only thing that is hindering us right now, not to move back home, not to go back to where we are, you know actually came from it's because there's no home there's no home because you don't want to be kidnapped nobody want to die young nobody want to die early nobody you know you know how it is so that's why we are doing this please remove self selfishness you know remove selfishness from this particularly selfishness remove it remove hate remove sentiment remove tribalism and support mr peter gregory will be god bless you all uh, uh mr alice i beg one minute as you say why okay thank you uh, i heard uh, somebody saying on the conversation that uh i should tell <laughs> as if i'm working in the uh, wiki's office that i should tell wiki to create jobs and impact on citizens okay let me quickly educate you here you know uh we learn on this platform you only have one minute uh, yes uh, if you are not if you are not if, you, if uh, let me round up if you, if you are not aware for me, uh, every every session, Wiki gives hundreds scholarship to medical students to be trained around the country and around the world. And two, Wiki also has built a, a, a cardiovascular medical center, a law school, and also a, a medical school. And he has given markets, as in um, traders, soft loans at two to three percent, as against the twenty five percent interest rates by Lapo and the rest microfinance banks. The guy is also working on individuals, and he's paying. Uh, citizens who, who have crude oil in their in, in their areas, two hundred thousand per month. You can go and verify. The guy is not is not wicked like I do state governor. The guy is very sensitive and is a very nice man. Thank you. Thank you, my brother Alex. Okay. Um, the next person here that we speak to us right now is Omo Yes Corner. Omo Yes Corner. Uh, before Omo Yes Corner, I would have preferred to sorry, Madam Omo Yes Corner. I think uh, we have a uh, God send the great before Omo Yes Corner. He oh. left and is back. Ah, okay. Hello? Yes. So, yeah, God's the great. Please talk right. to us then. After which, Omo, oh yes, Connor. Thank you. Okay, good. That's fine. 
Uh, brother Nice, uh, uh, Merry, Merry Christmas to you, my brother. Thanks very much for yeah. joining. Thank you, same here. Merry Christmas to all of you. Yeah, uh, I saw a video right now from Endo State. Uh, uh, this man, uh, is, is, uh, what is his name of this man? Apostle Uyinosa. You know, I, he's showing the, the, de the decoration in Edo State and the beautiful place that Obaseki have, have done. So I was I was impressed. I said, uh, Obaseki, is he is he doing this for political reason for ne because of the next election or just for the what decoration? You know, be specific, brother. Nice decoration of what? Uh, decoration. You know the normal decoration now. What they used yeah, to I don't do, know. Like, like Christmas. Uh, brother, uh, nice. Christmas, brother, Christmas, nice. Brother, nice. Very like sorry, sir. Uh, you know, say you know my friend. Today yeah. topic. I don't know that they follow us since. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I followed the, this thing now. The debate between. Uh, for uh, just talk because if you go bring up my about second matter now, you they bring yeah. another issue because I don't see decoration where you do. I've been moving. You did, brother. Nice. Now, be you did. How did it be? What do you want to talk about the decoration now? You, uh, you say. <laughs> He left this. No, you just Mr. say uh, everywhere no, nice. No, everywhere no, nice. How? No, no, left this. Now you they stretch the matter. Now you say me they're not talking about Baba Baseki. You are stretching it left. This is just the pay me for body as it just come at the advertiser and the correction. Yeah. This is you all done now. Brother, uh, brother, now did you watch uh, uh, the video of Kenneth Okoko? Yeah, I watched the video. Yeah. Hey, comment on that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, and I don't know why you're of a basic you want to talk. <laughs> oh, wow. If you want okay. my trouble, if you want my trouble this evening, continue your basic. <laughs> okay, yeah, cannot to co really destroy the, the both party, APC and PDP. So the man, the cannot to co stand out and he has a lot of uh, proof, you know, he's telling them and he's showing them the, the proof and uh, all the. All the this thing that all the area that APC and PDP has not done well, he explained everything to them. Even the uh, Dino Milaye was short of words, you know. So uh, and the, the other uh, APC man as well. So I think uh, yeah, the man did well. Uh, Kenneth Okoko, he did well, you know. So that is I don't have much to say on that, okay. but uh, for for now. Uh, but you people should say that I should not touch on that uh, state or what the uh, governor is doing. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm so, not interested. As far as I'm concerned, Governor Baseki failed. He and he failed at those state people. Let anybody come and ask me. In fact, let him ask me. I will let him, I will tell him that he failed. So I don't want to discuss that here. We're talking about positivism. I don't want to move back to negativism. You know, I've seen for the past couple of days they are celebrating street light. That's fine. You people, anybody that is part of that, enjoy the street light. You know, I, I want a better Nigeria where people will not be kidnapped, where people will not be raped, where people will not be killed, where people will not be beheaded, where you know you can have freedom of speech and all. We are fighting from top. I'm not talking about street light here. You know, uh, thank you very much. Let's move on to Omoyes Kona. Omoyes Kona, please talk to us, brother Nasi in the top finish. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, everyone. Thank Greetings, you. Mr. Ninja Watch. Thank you again for showing up and the day that everybody is celebrating. But thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Leftist. And Sister Rita, thank you. Greetings to you especially. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to I, I think that um uh journalists need to step up on their on their you know on their approach to uh, um, to what's going on in Nigeria, especially with regards to that video that was played, you know. Um, it is obvious that the state of things, people have, it's very, very difficult for people back home right now. It would be very hard to tell someone not to take, um, what's it called, this money that they are, the politicians are giving to them. It would be very difficult so why not explain the reason behind why people would tend to collect that money as opposed to saying, well, they have, they have 
um, you know, they're trying to discourage people from taking that money. That is not realistic. Based on what's going on in Nigeria, it is not realistic. It's very tough for people. Those on the ground feel the impact directly. So it will be difficult for someone who has 10 children, for instance, and who does not have much money. And somebody now comes that doesn't even know how he's going to celebrate this Christmas or, or whatever, right? And somebody now brings half a bag of rice and beans to him and give him 5,000 naira. Biko, how you want to tell the person to me not take the money? How do you discourage such a person? You know? So I think that the drama based, I, I, in my own opinion, no, this is my opinion. It should always be very clear about the situation on ground as to why people at, would tend to want to take this money. Because if the people were okay and they were all right, although some will still take, it will not be as rampant as we're seeing it right now. People are even taking as low as 1,000 naira. You know, so that's what I'm going to say about that clip that was played. And then with regards to Kenneth Okonkwo, I always love it when he's talking. Matter of fact, I just stretch leg, put my back down. I said, let this man just run these people down. And that's exactly what he did. I watched the entire interview. I was all smiles. And when he was done, I helped him drop the mic on my own end. I dropped the mic for, for, on his behalf. Kenneth Okonkwo comes with the heat. I like it. And I think somebody mentioned, it was uh, Mr. Alex that said, it's like, you know, it's like those of us here on Niger Watch. That's how it is. You know, that this is what this is what they, this is what we need. And what I see with that interview with Kenneth Okonkwo and the other two fellas, I don't want to mention their names because they're not necessary, um, is that it is so clear what the state of things is going to be in 2023. It is very clear, as clear as day and night, that Peter Obi is going to be the pre is actually the president of Nigeria. Come 2020, there's nothing they can do about it. That interview was evident to me in my mind, looking at it and the way it was conducted. I'm like, these people are done. They never expected a third force to come in and disrupt everything that they thought that they'll be able to just run through like Omo yes, Omo yes, Sorry that I have to come in. But uh, do you know Mela is supposed to know, in, know before, say, he and Kenneth Cook will not be made now. He's supposed to know now. He just came, <laughs> he came to food himself. That's all. Thank you. Of course. But you we know how Dino Melai is. He always wants to. But you, but you have to add, uh, Mr. Niger Watcho, and I'm sure everybody that was your interview, Dino Melai was humble. In that interview, you're not, you're not saying you don't raise his voice. Because Dino Melai was not before. raise his voice for. Hey, if, you check, if, you check, if you check, oh my yes, God, if you check other previous interviews from Dino Melai, Dino Melai normally shake. All your body go, they move. You see, they exactly. Talk. For this one, it was in, a, in humble. You know, you see, yeah, because you know, say Peter, uh, can it talk to go through him? He go through him like granite. You see, say, him like before the before the election, you see, I say, do you know, Melai, you know, go ever allow any kind of interview that will involve can it talk to Don't go. I'm like, sure. Never. I will not. I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised because Dino Melai no get back. Now, the guy, they shake for who he feels safe to shake for. For this interview, he can't really say he comports himself, arrange himself, like, like he don't want to talk so that they no go just open in ash for public. That's exactly how he was looking. He was like, he was like a rat that fell into water. He humble in voice, can't even know. I say, oh my God, we have won this election, but we keep pushing forward. This is what I took from that interview. Because every moment of it was, oh my God, it was like eating, it was like eating, uh, what's it called, um, chocolate cake with raisins in it. Oh, oh, oh. I say, wow, woo. I dropped the mic on behalf of Kenneth Okonkwo. Love that man's interviews anytime, any day, you know. And then with regards to Wiki, please, Wiki, keep doing your thing. We enjoy what you're doing, we like what you're doing. Please continue to drum, beat that drum of disruption, beat that drum of, 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 of confusion in the camp of the enemy. Continue to beat that drum. Hey, hey, we're almost there. We can, please do not stop. Continue. Give them fire for fire. 
They say they get sense. When did they do Jonathan, good luck. None of us know what they happened that time, but the truth is out there. Their mouth, they don't see talk again. Please continue to beat the drum. When go they give them migraine for where they did. Thank you very much, Governor Wiki. That's all I have to say about that Wiki's video. That's it, my people. I yield. Did I miss anything else? Did I miss did I say everything? Did I miss anything? Um no, I'm not sure. I believe yeah, you've talked about Governor Week, you talk about Kenneth Coco, you talk about so I believe that's uh, okay, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Although we, we, we showcased the video where the, the skyrocketing of the prices of foodstuff in the in the market, you know, but yeah, you know, if you want yeah. to yeah, I mean it, it's been going for it's it's been going on for a long time now. Um a bag of rice has gone up, bag of beans has gone up, Gary self, Gary went surplus when people they select. Now, if you see Gary buy, you should be happy. It's very expensive, everything has tripled and doubled. It is very heartbreaking, my people. I, was, I saw a video of a, a lady yesterday and she was saying she went to the store to go and buy stuff, right? She bought, she had managed to buy a bag of rice. She had to share it with so many people. She only came back home with like a small bucket of, of rice. She said it is so hard eh, that she can't even begin to explain that she cried the entire time. My people, it is rough. But you know what? This is why anyone who's sitting on the fence may not understand which would they sit down for the fence they wait for. <laughs> Is Peter B or nothing else? So I don't, everybody should go and borrow common sense if they don't have an add to their own and vote in Peter the Rock will be. That's the solution to this mess that we have found ourselves in. It is sad, you know, but what can I say? Whoever has, if you have money to send to your people back home to buy food for Christmas, please do. Even if not 20, even if whatever you have, because it is rough. I ain't going to lie to you. Anyway, I knew, do I did yet? Thank you very much. Christmas not for family, not for gifts. And at, at, at the point that people not feel who celebrate Christmas, you not feel buy rice, go give. Probably your parents, you not feel who give them anything. It a, it a pain and the only time and the only solution now now for us to change the government. That's just the truth because it has never been like this before. Christmas probably like this. <clears throat> you know how Christmas they be. But now, See how it can they be. People are complaining. Even people with the trade, this trade has no sell. They no sell. Everything it affects everybody. And still, some of us did they say we want to continue in this condition. No, now it no work. It no work. So we will just. <clears throat> I think uh, the next uh, yes. Now everybody almost stop finished now. Moderator, don't talk. My just come out of um, brother. Nice, don't talk. This is not the poor day here. Now let me start. Could die, Peter. Could die. Now come. I don't, you know, I don't finish talk. my talk. Uh, uh, brother, nice. You want to talk about uh, which thing you want to talk about now again? You want oh, to talk yes, about Peter, uh, nice. What do you say? You want to really talk before, brother? Nice. What do you say? You want to talk, talk to us. Una, una, una say, una no why here at all eh, concerning your no, talk. Talk, no, talk, 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 talk to us, talk to us. Yeah, what you want? Everybody don't talk finish now. Make we hear what I don't you want to talk for the other comments. So talk about Seki now. More hear what you want to talk about about Seki. Go ahead. I say about Seki don't talk beneath to Dubai now. Nah. No negotiations do uh, by beneath the smart spot now. You the laugh him or you the praise him? <laughs> you know, I mean, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> brother nice brother nice stay time oh. <laughs> I, I want fair I want fair I want fair unless I left this all of that trouble this evening no you know if you find us trouble unless unless if you collect money they say you can't say you want to take and take advertise or basically for you you know what you go to receive now no 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 to say the fact eh, this period we your remains so basically they try now now they talk so now they send to me and you they talk now Brother Nice, tell us 10 yeah. things, for 10, only 10, 10 things this period where as you talk and we're about to do. One, I know they subscribe to that nice since. 
No, may you tell us because Bill said we not we not know. So we are here to educate ourselves. Ten things we have okay. not do recently. Tell us. Okay, that is. Uh, let me just say in the space of uh, three weeks now, you don't give uh, those people street lights. One. Eh? <laughs> The second one, you do decoration for me. For me. Who say me? Somebody say me. Decoration for where? For, for where? For me? Me get, me get a question for you, but I'm nice. No, I bet you, 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 you do decoration for me. You where still go meet market. You still go meet. No, uh, 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 where for Bini not big. Where you do the now decoration? This now, now, this thing now, uh, what did they call now? I forget that that area where, where this thing did. Where administrative uh, this thing did. Ring road. I forget and whether I'm supply road. Yeah? <coughs> yes, and supply road. Supply road go reach uh, this thing, uh, uh, what do they call it? GRO and all those areas. You know, everything decorated, everything, everything is packed like Street light, not there, Magbao. Street light, not there, my year for year. For, 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 yeah. Wait, nah, Sir, Sir Elvis, I can, I can give you 10 achievements, too. I can give you 10. Straight up. No, if no, I don't no, have no, like no, almost no, 20. Wait. Then, uh, then, uh, brother, nice. Then go meet, that one go meet two, a market. market. He still made market women promise them saying go reduce the the, okay, item, promise uh, the, the uh the full stuff he saying go measure saying okay. the house made them he promise them food. right and I promise he promised them okay but he never he never fulfilled no, not be achievement now I'll be never I promise now we'll move on shall and not now they talk. They talk. in the in the in the try to do something between the the, the little space we remain for this uh, okay can i ask you a question about a nice wait, 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 I, have have people. I have list so i have list of achievement now wait now nobody to the hot may brother nice i swear finish. brother nice i swear number, number four eh? go ahead it will like say as soon as a year of four back sec is soon eh? una body the una the verse like that one be number four yeah. As as and I don't want to be number four, then number five. He still promised them again. Say, bro, I'm not know. serious. So he said, I don't have number four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, not number five. Number five. Yeah. He's not yeah. serious. Yeah. Number, number five. Number five. He still promised. He said, all the old portal way there for Benin. He said, he go do new, new road for them. Now, promise, oh, but he never do that one. He just promised them not okay, to. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six, I don't forget all of them to uh, instantly. I go, I need to remember the rest of so why, 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 why are you not a spokesperson if you don't know? Uh, Sorry, Leo. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't be a spokesperson as I see that one. I bring that to the attention. Say the man wants to the man wants to the he wants to the perform now because I don't oh, know if he's doing okay. For, okay. For the or, okay. He never starts in less than one year. Now, now you want to start. Why? He just give a do light hope. Say, better future they come. Oh, no worry. Uh, can I ask him a question? Uh, he, he said, not be spokesperson. Anyway, ask him, maybe go fear, Sarah. Number one, have you ever seen a place, any government, even local government, that commission street lights has a disgrace? You don't okay. commission street lights. You are asking questions, you are answering it. This yes, that's question, number one. Huh? Then, they then that's them. number one. Then number two, have you ever seen a, a governor in the history of Nigeria that rules with nine hours of assembly that stops local government for three years from functioning? Okay. Then number three, what about the seventy billion naira derivation money? Okay. Then number four, he don't do what about the killings still going on in the in the, in the whole state? Our villages have been taken over by Chinese and the Polani. You, you said I just knew a ploy, a, a, a brother nice. So you know, you, you know the film has made so many things like that too. Be careful. Then number six. Uh, okay, let me just rest. I beg. Uh, Alex, 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 you don't do. Alex, uh, more, they, more they take that more. more. <laughs> too many. We know feel and some of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> brother nice, you don't you don't drink this afternoon. I mean this evening. You don't drink. You don't okay, you don't drink nice. wine. Talking more than like Madarita talk. But I may as well drink a better wine. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Can I speak now? Yes. Go ahead. I think Edo State people, they are ungrateful. They are ungrateful to a governor, Baseki. Seriously speaking. Because to date, I think he's the first governor to uh, demolish over 150 houses in, in 72 hours. He's the first wow. governor. Yes, they don't say people are ungrateful. He's the first governor to reconstruct an existing road that is less than 10 kilometers, an existing road in quote, that is less than, than 10 kilometers for over two years. 
and it's still all going to a stadium. That's a common road. Uh, those people, you're ungrateful. Is the first governor to uh, to demolish a, a, a library and change it to a restaurant. Is the first I governor know. also? Yes, is the first governor to sell um, a, a media house like Observer and convert it to a name that we don't even know. We don't and, know the contractor. The MS don't know all this achievement at all. And there's another achievement. Yeah, no, it, but no, it, people are people. The first goal to keep people. people. The, the first one to keep people too. No, I'm not going to put kill because I have not seen any uh, physical proof. I'm, I'm in diaspora, so I won't use the K word here. I want to also say something. He's the first governor to divide Edo State youth till date, from 2020 till date. He's also the first governor to divide a party, go to another party, and divide another party. That is called flyover. In fact, that is physical. But I'm with that. <laughs> Where <are you> <laughs> I beg, I beg, not kill you, laugh, fly over. No. You people are ungrateful. You is the first governor to flout court order and went to demolish Tony Kabaka's hotel. Which governor has ever done that? Almost a decade down. He, that, is a, that is an achievement. He has a record. He's the first governor to fly from one party to the other. And uh, people are saying he has not done any flyover. That is a flyover, my dear people of Edo State. That is a flyover. Hmm. He's the first governor to drive a shower to enter a house. To fight about palace too. And That's true. I'm not, I'm not even going to go there, Sir Alex. I'm not even going to go there at all. Is the first governor to, um, or not to give us the account of the Ninja Delta thirty percent derivation from nineteen ninety nine to date. That is a great achievement. I think uh, those three people you are ungrateful. Okay. It's also the first governor not to have a contractor name for the biscuit. Mm. And I know I'm going to talk. For the biscuit road work that's been done in 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 Edo State. First governor. No contractor. Okay. No. Oh, no, they take us much more. Your boys don't know, Mister uh, Brother Nice. It's easy to demolish over almost two hundred houses in seventy-two hours. No. It's easy. No. And, and 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 he has amassed one thousand three hundred buildings for demolition in the next one year to it's create a city. Easy. That's a great mm. achievement. What are you talking about? And that means oh, wow. it's, it's, books. it's the oh, first right. governor to relocate a central hospital. <laughs> from Ring Road, where before the devil born now, before the devil born now, it was the you. Ring Road. That central hospital was there, Thank accessible God. from. Yes, assuming there is emergency coming from Irua, or coming from Auchi, or coming from other far local government to central hospital. Now the first governor is saying no. The person go die. By the time they enter the road, hold on. Just tell people you are ungrateful. Is they are very ungrateful. Yeah, uh, uh, I have a question yes, to ask. What are you talking about? He he removed that. He removed that central hospital because of the palace. During COVID nineteen, the first governor who hired somebody may go to hospital, carry TV. That, uh, what yes, so it's true. It's, it's true. true. You're right. You're right. Let it. Let it. You're a bad journalist. So I didn't know that. You take it too late. What can go out if you say not get COVID nineteen? They pay him. <laughs> people are now running for him. Wait, I have a question. I don't say people. You are grateful. I don't say people are grateful. My people are moving away. I have a question to ask you guys. I want me a more yes, more yes. Try to make us some new progress. Oh, those, those uh, thank you. We don't get contributors. No, no, wait. Yes, we get color now. And uh, this person, I know I'm not for me to ask. I want to be a name. This is uh, Pamode Omorigi. Pamode Omorigi, I beg, talk to us. Uh, I want to greet my, my call where I call this. I want to greet you now. Not be say I want to talk of politics or what in the happen or what in the happen. I want you to say, Una, well done. I greet you, my happy Christmas. I love the joke when they go on. I love the argument. I love, I love everything. My own be say, I greet you now. I wish you a happy new yes, year. I'm so very happy to see my people who are alive. Okay. So that's it. the reason I just, I just, that's just my own. All right, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. All right, before we move on, I beg the spokesperson for Governor Ambassador need to, you don't know this thing, you go call them money, you don't know what the governor did. It's a shame, though. Anyway, spokesperson, uh, God's son, <laughs> the book. 
Talk to us. We say get to one question when you want to ask us. I bet I'm not. No, man, no, ask question. Mr. Megawood, I know. You say? Eh? This very, this very unlike Mr. Ebola. Mr. Sister, Omo, yes, first make a submission, then I will ask you a question. I will not be used to talking. I just want to say two things. Brother, now it's not the you just be like a Jimmy Malaya now. Oh, Madam, I don't roll out achievements. Why you go collect <laughs> on it like this? You know they feel represent them. You know he just got a new job. No, he just got a new job. No, I know, Mister Naja Watch. Eh? I just mm -hmm. I know I don't collect any money. The reason why I bring this uh, uh this thing this uh, topic is just for us to analyze our previous one to this one. Which one is nice. which one perform? You are not truthful. Are you calling your call? using directly the laugh for us? Okay, this is not nice, now, brother. Nice. Eh? No, no, it good, it good. May I still get to now own, in our own or uh, this thing, opinion? Oh, then I want, I want to ask you now this question now. Wait, Mister Naja, watch. I want to ask this question now. So the, I want to throw this question open. From from a uh, 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 Lucky Benedion to this person, uh, Osho Mule, to this uh, recent one now. Eh? Which one perform most among three of them? Hold on, we have. Just give me. Your one more Lucky. Give me. Oh, hold on. I don't like meeting people. When I say hold on, just hold on. Thank you. Hello, uh, Bob Victor. Thank you for calling us. Merry Christmas. Talk to us, sir. Merry Christmas, Mr. Niger. Merry Christmas to all the crew. Uh, thank God for seeing your face today. It's a hey. blessing. We are all alive. Thank and you. We are going to see if I'll be the raw crew. To have a rock in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to ask the question, and my question goes to Mr. Alex. I, I want to ask the question concerning uh, the educated governor. He has received also amount of money which we be uh, disclosed to every one of us. My question goes like this Don't the citizens of educated have the right? to proceed to the court to ask the government to release how that money was spent because that money belongs to the adjusted, not adjusted. Okay, this question now is going to Alice, right? Yes, can I respond now? Oh, hold on, Alice, please. Do we have the right to go to court so that the court can address that issue? All right, thank you. Alice will answer that. We'll get back to you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Alice, the same will ask you how you are number secretary of the 30% derivation. <laughs> okay. No, we saw a very good. I will go. 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 Anyways, uh, according to the Constitution, an executive governor or a president, they have immunity. You can't prosecute them for now. This is why you see many governors immediately after their elections, they want to decamp to avoid prosecution. So those three people have, they've made petitions. If you listen to the EFCC chairman, he said it, that many governors are, a lot of governors are on their, on their radar right now. But they can't do much, but they are still investigating them. So sources have disclosed about uh, petitions from people from everywhere, those in Edo State, in Diaspora, everywhere, there are a lot of petitions against him at the uh, crime crime commission. So, but nothing can happen now because he's still a sitting governor. He has less than a year. After that year, you will see him. If he doesn't decamp or if he doesn't run away, he's going to face the law. If you can remember, Loki Gunejo was arrested three, four months ago or six months ago in Abuja for three days. He was in DSS custody for, for questioning and he had to pay a lot of money to, to excuse himself with his father's contact. Your father will not live with you forever. I see Lucky Gunedion still going to jail, and I see Siabaseki going to jail. I see Siabaseki going to jail. We just need one person with the right mentality, with the right inspiration, with the right ideology to come into power in a do state. You will see drama, real drama, political drama. Because right now, nobody ever saw Wiki coming to deal with articles like this. So bring me back to my state. A lot of people are writing petitions. Even the opposition party, civil rights organizations, churches, families, schools, people are writing, even people abroad. Stake, these are people that have states. These are people who are born in those states. 
they deserve to be communicated with as regards the monies of Edo State. But according to the law, you cannot prosecute a serving governor until his term is over. So this is why we have to seek to abolish this devilish, con this devilish constitution that gives them a lot of power to do nonsense. And you have to wait for eight years or for, or, or for four years before you can ask them questions in, 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 in court. You cannot prosecute them, but you can, you can petition them. That's the All point. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Alex, if I must add to that, I think the caller was not talking about persecution per se. He was talking about if Edo people have the right to, to, to ask under F, uh, FOI law, freedom of information. Yes. The, if the straight answer to that is yes. The Edo people can approach any court in Benin, high court in Benin, asking the governor, particularly asking the governor to provide information on how on the money on the 13% uh, derivative, how much he got, how the money was spent with evidence. Under FOI law, freedom of information, if you have a copy of that law, unless you can go for the copy, you can get the right of the people. So Edo people can approach the court. Okay. Not yeah. necessarily right. the court. The law gives you, the law did not say you go, go to court. Let me tell you about the law because this is a little bit where we are also very important. The law said you can even go and ask the governor verbally, for those that cannot write. The law provided for those that cannot read and write. If you cannot read and write, you can go and verbally or ask somebody to write it there while you are talking, asking and demanding. And the law gives, I think the law gives, I, I, let me not, I cannot remember the time, but that 30 days, let me, let me forget the time, let me not lie, I cannot remember that. For them to reply you, that they received and give you time that they're going to reply you. And the law also give you time. After a certain period of time, if they refuse to divulge this information that you needed as a citizen, that is when the law asks you to go to court after passing through these procedures. So uh, the, for the caller, if you are listening to us, the law empower all citizens of Nigeria either under FOI law I think if I need to look for that note now, I, I think I can look for it. On yes, let is, let is, you, uh, you are right, but I also want to put it to, to the caller that petitions are piling up at uh, EFCC, whatever, against no, the government. He's, no, he's not talking about petitions. Now, definitely there will be petitions. He's just talking about if the Edo people don't have right to approach the court. The they, process they can take, anyway. that's, that's what I'm asking. The process that Edo people can take, they cannot just go to straight to the court. They cannot go straight to the court. Straight. No. The first thing they will do, they will either put it in writing, demanding the government to disclose what information they want. It is a right to all citizens in the country. You can do it to governor, any office, as far as it's a parasitor, is representing the people. Any office, you can walk there, write your paper and demand. It's a right. And they have to accept Receipt is a must by the law, and the law gives them. I don't know now because I, I it's, it's not the And uh, let me let me your advice before you do that. You have to check if your land is if your house is on government land or for now. <laughs> please check, oh, please. Yes, oh, no, it's just an advice. Question. Just one check. Yes, it's it's very important. This evil, uh, I mean, uh, unless unless even this already they talk. So, uh, let this needs to be be careful because. If you don't see girl land from Benin, all this way you're the. I'm job. telling you, John. Uh, uh, be careful. That, uh, that uh, before you petition, uh, before, uh, you, uh, before uh, you ask uh, any government person anything, check your land, your house, uh, document uh, if it's on government land. Modiana, welcome, Modiana. I do when I'm a quarrel. I a good guy. Do ho. Not everybody government is definite. Ah yeah, it's true. You're right. I come on last for a do, and I know what they talk about. Okay. The moment they don't know, say now you. But, 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 
everybody's not like you now. I'm just advising them in the public so that they will not cry. That's that's it. Remember, remember, say Tony Kabaka threatening government. I'm, I'm telling you, like, well, well, <laughs> me and you know say Tony Kabaka case and governor case now, now family matter, brothers and sister matter, according to Tony Kabaka. They know themselves. He left both, of them, he left. both of them, they, they commit crime. They, both of them, sorry, I want to use one word. Both of them are criminal. It's the same organization. So they do their self. Of course, both all of right. Them understand yeah. themselves. All right. Uh, we have, uh, I don't know whether the spokesperson is still getting to one talk, but in case you're not getting to move, move on now to spokesperson. We don't answer the question now. Uh, we are asking now. Which question? You answer our question. You, you ask question. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I ask on our question now. Uh, Una not give me chance. I want I ask Una. Well, no Before you ask us question, Mok we fair admire Mok we fair welcome engineer Ken. He just quite the look us. Before he go bring out, uh, he waiting the bring out engineer Ken. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry Christmas, my brothers and sisters. Engineer How Ken, you guys? Good evening, sir. What's doing today? You know, uh, we are not doing fine. You don't need to talk. forget us. If they ask us how we're doing. Yeah. Good evening, my friend. I'm not saying now. <laughs> talk to, no, no, say, we'll be, we'll be okay, but we'll not eat it. Now, I'll have a little water with grass cutter. Now, we'll eat with a goosey and pan here. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Gina. Hello. We'll come back to you. We'll come back to each other. Your network doesn't start to know. America. Okay. Yes, uh, brother. Nice. Which question you ask us, brother? Nice. Ask your question again now. Okay. Let me rephrase my question. My question is: Lucky Benedion, Oshomole, and Obaseki, which one perform most among three of them? I just need a fair, a fair answer to this. As an Edo likes, I ask you people this question. Fair answer to this. Just be fair, not by sentiment or hatred. Okay. Which one perform good? The person will go, will go, will go, fair answer, and I'll be my director. I was about to even say something, so thank you. Um, I, I will not put Governor Obaseki in the equation. Do you know why? It will be unfair because he has not completed his tenure. The other two you mentioned, they completed that eight years tenure. So, if you want to make such comparison, it would be unfair to add Governor Baseki, to be honest. And I, I know everybody agree with me. Yeah, of course. So, yes. so yeah, so if you want to compare between Loki Binejo and uh, uh, Governor Adam Sochomole in the administration, um, I would say because we're on a public forum, the, the kind of words I will not use, Nigeria Watch will not allow it, but I would say that um, this is a tale of that's Lucky Binejo now and governor, former Governor Shomene. Um, it's a tale of um, two, peas, two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. It's a practical case of what we call APC and PDP today, Siamese twins. One head, two, one body, two different um, um, heads, but they, they have the same DNA. And um, I would say, <clears throat> as at the time um, Lucky Binejo's administration was on, um, the social media wasn't um, as broad as it is. A lot of things that we would have known um, then, you know, that we are seeing now, the way governor is, um, governance is being um, practiced, you know, we'll have seen it more. And if you see in the case of um, Adam Shomole, you know, the advent of the internet wasn't as broad as it is now, the way we are like gas gaslighting and um, putting a torch light on um, Governor um, Obaseki. But I, I cannot say both of them are good because um, there's something we, we can call lucky stone. Oshomole own was a, is not the, the boss, uh, Osho Baba boss. I don't know what Governor Obaseki is on in the well, way can see, you know, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know. The, the thing is, if you want to compare them, we have to break it down. Number one, connecting to the people, service to the people, infrastructure, health, education. You know, we have to break it down. We, we can't just make it... Um, Lack lost by just saying which one is better than one other one. I mean, this is an intelligent forum. We need to break it down from heading to heading. If you want to talk about health, let's go to health. What did Governor um, um, Oshomole uh, doing as regards health? Primary health care um, um, allocation. How did it go with Governor Basek, with Governor Oshomole and Ibinejo? 
as at that time, I think a lot of us, maybe during the like, beginning of time, maybe some of some of you were seeing in secondary school or uh, you just entered university, so you might not even be privy to know a lot of things. Um, in terms of health now, um, I don't, I can't remember. Okay, I would say Stella or Bass and Joy. I don't know if it's Lucky Gnejo that built that. Um, I don't know, somebody can correct me. Uh, leftist, if he's the one that, if he did that, I would say, okay, he built an infrastructure, he built uh, Stella Bass and Joy Hospital, you know, and yes. then he renamed, he renamed Bender State University to Ambrose Ali University. That is, he connected with what Ambrose Ali did, he appreciated it, and he, in order to immortalize his name, he did that for him, which I would say I'm I'm grateful for that, you know. Um, for Shomele, for Shomele in terms of health now, um, okay, what did he do? Okay, he built another extension of the central hospital, and there was no e equipment inside. So, I don't know how I can read that. Primary healthcare, you know, in other parts of Edo State, I'm, I don't have such information. Um, education, I know as at that time, Subeb was was greatly used, and that brought about the revolution of the red roof thing. And free free meals for children, you know. I don't see that now. In um, I don't think that was existing in uh, Lucky Major. I, I would say, let me be fair. I don't have much information about that um, in terms of education or what um, uh, Lucky Major did. The only thing that I know that was the renaming of Bender State University, to, uh, you know, uh, Ambrosali University. And uh, you know, there was also some rumor about the money that was disbursed then. So Bev was used to fund the the, the Ibinejo University. I don't know how true that is. That's an alleged comment, but you know, maybe some people who have the right information would know about that. Um, what else again? Um, um, the building of okay infrastructure now. Urban market. Who built urban market? Was it look during the time Lucky was a local government chairman, or was it during the time he was governor first term? I don't know. I, not that I don't know. I don't remember because I don't want to say what I don't remember. I don't want to say what I, I don't remember. And then for um, Oshomole, I don't think Oshomole built any market. Maybe he built in his hometown. I don't know. Education wise as well. Um, what's his name? He built um, Iyamo University in his hometown. I would say he did that. I'm talking about um, Oshomole now. Um, he's, a private like? he's, a, he's a private university. He's a Very private expensive. university, but it will be it is expensive, but at least it has opened the economic hub of that Iyamo there. Just, just the fact that there's there's um, a university there. The same thing Ibn Ejo did in Okada. Okada expanded and opened up by virtue of the fact that there was a university there, even if it's expensive. Like we all know, it would be expensive because it's a private university. That's how it is all over the world. And then um, what else again? In terms of um, the IGR, you know, I think it was during the time of Loki Binajon that, uh, if I can remember very well, um, that was when this um, Agbero thing started in terms of, I, I don't think they actually meant it to be like the way it is now. I think it was, the essence was like, how are we going to generate funds for the state? And those state is not a, a civil servant state per se. As at that time, this oil boom, this realization of, you know, Edo State being part of the oil, you know, uh, producing state wasn't out there. It was in the, I think it was in the second term of Lucky Gbine, you know, where they had these um, governors wear those three colors, you know, Alame Siga, uh, Ibori, and the rest. That's when we realized that, oh, Edo State also produces oil. You know, and that was in the second term of Lucky Gbine, you know, But, you know, first term now, we're looking back. I mean, I would say um, in terms of uh, which other infras infrastructure, it's just to me, I just look at, okay, revenue generation I was talking about, the IGR. I think that's when it started with, I think this um, late BJ Okundai. I think, yeah, if, I, if I'm not, he was one of the, the persons heading that as at that time. And um, a lot of people, um, you know, started looking at that as a very lucrative way of collecting so, money. Uh, so who is the most performed governor? In, governor I uh, am making the, see, like I said, we, we can't just say most because we have to break it down. We're talking about governance here. We have to teach people, Sir Alem, Sir Elvis. We have to yeah. teach people. You have to break it down to health, education, infrastructure, you know, uh, quality of life of the people, IGR, you know, stuff like that. You have to rate it in that in that tier. And then when you see the percentage, then you can now um, um, come to a conclusion to say, okay, this person performed in total better than the other. But we don't have those statistics. Perhaps maybe that should be something that we could investigate on our own. We put it out there and then we see how it's being rated. We cannot add Governor Basaki to this equation because he's still serving his second term. So it would be unfair to even add him. But so far, it's for me, it's F9 from 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 the 20, uh, 2016 and, or and, so. And, and, remember, and remember a miracle, miracle might happen in the last minute. 
what um, miracle? Okay, may, maybe we'll have so many flowers. It's very possible because we're still talking about the thirteen percent derivation is unaccounted for. The Paris fund is there. Um, the money received from um, Italy, you know, the IGRO, and then we have the um, what's it called? The money that the federal government gives every the security vote money. You know, there's a lot of money coming in. There's a lot of money coming in. I mean, let's take it only. But you know, like you said, if this if this magic can work between now and November uh, two thousand and twenty-four fine but hey we have projects like a Kawa road that have been running for it's not two years now going to three years it's still not completed so which flyover now that's going to be completed within the time within now and 2024 november i think wiki has told us he used setraco um uh, what they call him um, Brins, uh julius beggar you know he talked he talked about the law school how it was built within it's not eight months because they projected one year he said within eight, eight months it was done and it was day and night, Monday to so Sunday. Everybody was working. So I don't know. I don't say we don't have a contractor name so we can pinpoint and say, okay, Julius Beber, we at least we can vouch. This is JB doing this road. We know it's standard. It can last 30 to 50 years. What is happening now is biscuit road in I don't say so. If we say magic is going to be done, so I I don't know. Uh, maybe by divine intervention or divine, you know, immaculate conception that something would happen, you know, between now and 2024 okay. November. <coughs> I don't this question. Is okay. Uh, I think we would give a uh, uh, time for this question this? so that. Uh, Can I answer the question? Uh, no, we will come to you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I want to come from the professional angle now. For me, I'll answer it. I will. Yes, it's good to look at the various fa various facets of the of of the state. Lucky Minidion ought to be in jail. He's, being, he's still being investigated right now for three billion, equivalent to 25 billion today. Lucky Minidion, for me, did nothing. The, it was flooding as usual. The only thing we did was the Lucky Stone at Igun, as you said, converting Edo State money to build his father's university. Edo, Edo was totally a marsh, submerged in water. Oshomule came and opened a go. Lucky said there was there was mommy water there. He said it on a national TV, state TV, that many contractors have tried that there is mommy water at Ego. Oshomule did that road, linked it to a federal road, and asked the white man on TV that, 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 that my former governor said there was mommy water here. Did you see mommy water? Like a joke, the white man said there, there was no mommy water. You can go and check that video. They were just using the states to play. It's what they are still doing now. How was security during Lockheed Menadion? Fine, I give it to him. He brought about Operation Thunderstorm. He finished all the boys in the uh, Upper Sakumba Road. During the uh, uh, robbery was very bad those days. Women cried out that all their boyfriends and their husbands have, have been killed by the governor Lucky administration because of the crime rates. He brought crime to a standstill, but he turned those state to his father's property. People were saying that Igbenedion was the one ruling in Prozi, not his son. Because actually, it was arranged in Abuja by the Kaduna Mafia to compensate one of their own. Because actually, people are still saying he must win that elections. That's something for another day. So apart from security, which was top not, on that lucky, you dare not do nonsense. It was his father ruling. If, if Chief Esama was educated, he would have probably been a Nigerian president. The guy knows how to arrange things a lot. He's a good organizer but is a very also a very corrupt man too he has been corrupt from the 70s under bermudia's government he was almost killed that's another story so coming down to oshomole Osh oshomole empowered thugs touts oshomole is not educated too lucky had certificate issues nyc result was not there everything was forced of course by his father so this was what led to the the infrastructural disaster you saw everything was just left on the stand and they were just sharing money. It was on that lucky when we heard of that slogan, share the money. PDP share the money. They left everything. Everything. They did little, you. Little you or nothing compared to the monies they got. The Isaiahs of this world. They, they were all in that bank wagon. So these guys is what you get when you don't have people that have passion, that are really educated, not forged results. Obaseki right now, Coming to him, I want to touch all of them because what you use in rating people, security, economy, agriculture, education, 
The only thing I can use to remember the governor of is second tenor especially is bloodletting. Niger Wash, you said, categorically I'm quoting you, that a woman called you to tell you that her mother was raped by Fulani Hesme in Edo State and beheaded. And another woman called. And at the time we saw videos, bandits were being, you know, were being offloaded at Ring Road. People from other states were asking us to take action. The governor kept quiet. We saw Uronigbe. People cried out that the Fulanis have invaded them. We saw a cattle. And Niger was, I quote you again, you sent a team of the Niger was um, team, a media team, to a village. You saw the whole result. That they, are, they, they were under captivity by, by Fulani invaders. They are killing them. And we have a state governor whose number one duty is to protect lives and property. So how do you rate such a government who enjoys bloodletting? Just like the ancient day gladiators. I mean, I mean, bringing slaves to fight and enjoying the killings of slaves. They turn adults to slaves. They trade with our destinies in Abuja. They reach agreement with their, with their, uh, with their principles in Abuja. Alex, so, please try uh, to uh, administration for me can be categorized. Let me round up. It can be categorized by number one, bloodletting. Number two, demolition exercise without proper documentation. Number three, massive infrastructural failure. Roads are giving way. Roads done in less than three, four years. China road, disposable road, just like you have disposable plates. Opposite is a fraud, is a scam, is a liar. He's doing street life. Who commissions street life for God's sake? He does not have governance training. So he's doing all these things to get at you again, to bring you another person that will succeed him, that will continue to kill you again in the next eight years, after next year or next two years. So I don't open your eyes. Why is it coming out now? Why? Ask yourself, why now? Have we not been crying here about security, land grabbing, about uh, the joblessness of our youth? So guys, these guys are all the same. We've not had a leader like Governor Nelson Wiki of River State. We need a leader like, like Samuel Bermudia, Folonsha and Bruce Ali. These, these, these three names are disastrous leaders. They are criminals. They brought Oshomole brought in Lucky Gunedion. So, and, uh, and uh, I mean, a Lucky brought Oshomole. Oshomole brought in Obaseki. These are, these are three like Doma three. They, they are just friends. They are birds of a feather. And they meet. You, you must add Isa Yamu to that bank wagon. They, they ruin the state. What do we have in the state? What is working? What is working in the state? Tell me, what is working? Is it the security? Is it the agriculture? China have taken over our forest? What is working? How, how, how are the people enjoying government? The roads are bad, the mechanics are milky people with papers and repairs. Man, guys, Edo is like a, like, a, uh, like a glorified village. I mean, and posterity will not forgive them. They use your money to build. How can someone use state money to build a private university? Who does that? That's criminal. Who's collecting those monies from that school? Whether you open that area or not, that's not the case. If I you say about accountability and transparency, who, who gave him that audacity to use public funds to build private investing? That's not, that's, that's capital rejectment. Re we, we cannot accept that. So for me, three of them are best of a feather, and they will definitely go to jail. God punish them if someone like me comes to power. Trust me, something, something's going to happen. Drastically, the first six months. Thank you. Yes, uh, we'll just go straight to Omo Yes Corner then. We'll give it to uh, Engineer Ken to also say something. Omo Yes Corner, please. Hey, I'm just sitting back and enjoying the lecture. I'm not really familiar with the Edo State Governor, even though, yes, recent times have uh, exposed him. At least I came to find out that there was so much money given to the state and nothing has changed. I have relatives in Edo State in every in every part most most parts of Edo state nothing you know it's uh, to mr alex's point it's it's a village it's not there's nothing glorified about it it's a complete village there's nothing to write home about the roads are terrible so when i heard that in recent times i was like wow and we have a man who claims, I, I don't even know if that man is a do state in, indigent. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I have my doubts. And I agree with those who said it, the likes of um, uh, Ambrose Ali, did, they're the ones who did most of the work. If not for Ambrose Ali, a lot of, a lot of us from different parts of it, just, they probably wouldn't have ended up going to school at all. You know, so I don't have anything. I'm just learning from you guys about this man. 
that we put in office. It's really, really a shocker. I hope we don't allow this this um, monumental failure happen again because this is just ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to sit back and listen to you guys on this subject of Obaseki and learn. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if Virginia Ken has anything to say on this before I say something. Is Virginia Ken there? Okay, Virginia Ken, they eat turkey. Move, move on. All right. Um, the question uh, the new contractor asked us, brother, um, brother Nice, the new contractor to Edo State, to come and uh, ask us question here. That between Lucky Benedio, Oshomole, and uh, the present governor, who do we read best? It's a very good question. If you want to start from Lucky Benedio, I will tell you, even Lucky Benedio to me, his tool is better than the present governor of Edo State. Lucky Benedio did a lot of things we are not seeing during his time. On heads, it was not so difficult. On education, he actually tried. He really invested in Abrusadi University at Auchi Poli. I am one of the persons, because I was close to Igbenidion's family then, especially Lucky Igbenidion. I'm saying this for the first time, not personal rapport. Yes, most of the contracts in Auchi Poli I had the opportunity of being there. He did. He was the one that opened up Upper Mishore Station, that bridges, and did Upper Mishore Station. They can't give him Lucky, uh, Lucky, uh, is it Lucky Road or Lucky? Lucky Benedion did that. He also tried to open up Ekboma and That's other Lucky areas. Way. Lucky Way. He also tried to open up other areas through industrialization, which he also involved. Um, S. Patrick, we saw that. Like the one in, uh, uh, what's this place? Uh, Panapo factory, he, he almost, the, the equipment, everything was there. Uh, where do you call that before Igwebe? I mean, before Igwebe, what, um, the, there was one uh, uh, Panapo factory for Jews. He stole, we agree, but lucky. Did a lot. Lucky was what that built the library. The risk, the present governor brought down. Quote me. No, no, he completed it. He didn't be oh, but did, sir. Okay. It was oh, it. Started it, but Lucky completed it. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes you are right. Me. Yes, you are right. You are right. He just corrected me. Lucky completed right. that library. Ah, you are very right. Library. He didn't go to school, but he equipped it. He equipped a library. He finished the library. He stole. We agree. There were a lot of roads Lucky tried to open up in Benin. Though, according to Alex, that of uh, Ogida, he couldn't do it. He said, my new water day. Yes. We are rating them. During Lucky, life was better. Security it was better. Though, he stole. You cannot compare Lucky many just time. Lucky is, 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 is the best in security. Lucky is the best in security. Let's now. I come to Oshomole. In this three, Oshomole will take it all. Because Oshomole came with full chest to exaggerate. As he was exaggerating, he was doing. He was destroying houses, building roads. The money the traditional house was not getting during Lucky. He was getting, but not enough. Oshomole opened the secret and paid. <laughs> so, so million, I used to suppose they pay you monthly. They were subcharging you because he wanted million. to see. And Lucky was giving yes. two million. Yes, he was showing, Oshomole was showing himself. Though he stole. Oshomole brought Red Roof was visiting almost all schools doing renovations, giving out contracts. You cannot compare Oshomole to the present governor. No. Oshomole, 
later became better than Lucky a little bit because he was a little bit open. He was not opening Benin. He was not opening Benin. He was going further. He was stepping on He was not afraid. He was stepping on toes. He was talking. He was exaggerating. He was giving out contract. We saw this. And everybody was Osho Babai. Let's not forget the way Osho Mole came in to step up governance in Edo. Though Osho Mole also increased the IGRO in Edo through Oshomole was like a copy of uh, Bola Tenebo, 610. He now brought Agberoism. In lucky time, there were Agberoism, but not the, as it is during Oshomole, where Agberoism now had offices. All the courts has offices in Oshomole's time. Oh, you say he's trying to use them talk to them so that there won't be bloody. During Oshomole time, courts became something else. They were they became so powerful. Extremely very powerful. It was during Oshomole time because he was feeding them. But his governance was a little bit, little bit more open. He introduced so many things like uh, this uh, 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 debt management. Uh, those ones that were picking dirty Though he gave some of these ones to some of his people, hey, I don't want to talk too much because we also know some more, many more, much about that governor. But as I lucky after Oshomole, this very present governor that Oshomole personally, personally brought and say, ah, now you, he was not voted though. Oshomole brought him there. Oshomole kept giving him his position. He tried to deceive the people. That he was the one doing everything that he, Oshomole, was doing. People now will now say yes, yes. If you know what Oshomole did to put install uh, this present governor, you will know that man, this life, eh, not trust anybody. Oshomole disappointed. I happen to be going to government house every day. I have an open door. I go there with that no. If I they come, the DSS not they ask me again. Because I get two people while they go sit there. Not to show more mm -mm. He gave an office, the executive director, oh yeah, Gaff, then was my personal friend. Then uh, General Charles, uh, the man that was in charge of, um, uh, I don't, it was my my old boys at the Polo Grammar School. I used to go there. I used to go to government house often. During the election, you know that, eh, life. Government house was like quiet, dead. Everybody was against Oshomole. If Oshomole wasn't a strong man for no survivor, nobody knows this Obaseki from nowhere. How can you sell this product? The person that is supposed to be the next governor was disappointed. Oshomole said, no, he turned against everybody. Oshomole fought everybody to install this present man that knows nothing in Benin. He has never done anything in Benin. He has never stayed in Benin. He has never been, he has, he has no voter's card. Then, how do you rate him now? Brother Nice, you want to rate him? How do you rate him? Because everything he was doing since he came is from Lagos, Yoruba people. The contractors Lagos. He does not have anything, anything consigned here, though. He now started from where Oshomole stopped. Not even the development, the, the looting. He has broken what he did not create, library for restaurant. He has relocated Central Hospital that his father will not dare try. This man is like Tinubu. He's collecting the interest choice property a do state has through processing means. This is what who Obaseki is. Look at the way he's destroying houses now. Choice property. He does not go to old area. Choice property. The one way the government own. We already the already dead place. He's destroying them using English to say he relocated. Obasek is not just part of it. I have not seen whatever. I have not seen anything he has done. Street light is not. It's not development. Street light yeah, is Mr. not Lefty, evidence. It's not evidence of the democracy. 
I look at the story. It just brought it just brought back uh, this thing. Active part. So, so if you ask me among the three, according to the question you ask, let me not take too much time. Oshomole is better than Obaseki that he brought. Oshomole is little bit better than Lucky Benidio. Why Lucky Benidio is better than Obaseki? I don't say it's better than Obaseki. Obaseki never finished it. Miracle. No, what do you want? What do you want to do again? He, he go do pass. He go do pass as they do so. I do resonance. Where that house now? I do state house. Where his wife then? Yeah, Lord, uh, Eki, Eki Benedio. Eki, Eki Benedio was going into this, um, trying to make sure prostitution. She was always in the marketplace, so I, that one, I remember that one. Going or everywhere. You don't tell me about it. She was this always thing. in the marketplaces. That one, I forgot that one. I, please, I, I, I want to apologize on that. Th that woman was selfless. Very nice woman. Very nice woman. Yes. She was, she was everywhere, a very young girl. I know about Lucky Benito because it was my time, at least. I just, uh, I, I, I did, I, I be young man that time. I see they follow the go party with Siren. Yes. She, she was very, yes, very educated. Very I'm nice woman. Not to judge him. But then, he's bet, far better than this one where you know they talk. And they do what they did in mind. This Mr. Leftist, Mr. Leftist, no underrated uh, Obaseki. He brought back artifacts from uh, from Germany back to Nigeria. Who oh, does? Not right. Are you kidding me? He's not the one that brought artifacts. What are you saying? He has been one for years. He's not the one that brought artifacts. Please, the the present of Monoba of today, the present of yeah, Mono, Monoba of today, when he was an ambassador to Italy, yes, that yes. is when he started this artifact. Yeah, he's fighting it. Just after that, he's under Obaseki. Very unfortunately, and, and, and he's really fighting him over it. He was an ambassador, he was fighting it. He's been written a series of letters, he's been fighting it right from time. Obaseki is trying to get glory. We select this, it even started in Akezwa time, but this, this, this new or this Oba intensified it when he was an ambassador. If you want to talk about Obaseki, no, 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 you carry matter near me, no, 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 carry near me. So so I mean, I mean, don't do anything. Anything. He has collected all the land in Edo State. All government land has been either those ones that he has sold. One thousand three hundred buildings and mark for destruction. One thousand three hundred buildings. I think lucky public... left some. Lucky ah, did not take these no things now. Lucky left, left some of these things. Did not he did not convert government land to, to his own. Now he found that land. Now he used at, at least he go build Kada. Kada Kada Plaza, now lucky you. Then the other one where people know to know that hotel, the opposite airport. What be that hotel name? Now lucky get her. Now your wife, you build that yeah. one. Yes, you are right. It's for his you wife. Tell me, you want to tell me? You can't tell me now. I know. Ale, that hotel, right, now get her. Now your wife, Ale. now you build that for. That hotel, the that why, opposite airport. What is his name? The reason why he destroyed those houses, he want to turn a door to Dubai. That is why. How much did you collect? How much transfer they give you, so my brother? Sorry. So you don't ask us questions. We don't ask us. Nice, my dear brother. So, you say your passer key where you they where you they sell for here? You not get level. Lucky get level passer. Uh, okay. But uh, Mister uh, Mister uh, Leftist, uh, Mister Mister Leftist, make I make I ask you one question, Leftist, to you now. I don't know how you. I don't know how you guys see it. Oh, maybe maybe I'm thinking too much. Maybe I'm overzealous or something. Why is our present day governor quiet over his security, in spite of evidence, videos, pictures, killings going on in villages? Why is he quiet? That's my. That that's the biggest pain I have because people it, are being murdered up till now. You you just want to tease us. You want your find with no. I want to know. I want to know why a human being will be quiet when your own people are being killed. You cannot organize your a press conference. Your present your present day governor. Your He's present quiet. day governor. You. Yeah, your present day governor. Because I'm denying him now. I'm your denying him too. Day, but answer me. Your present day governor. Your your present day governor. Because you there, my Your present day governor. Uh -huh. <laughs> your present day governor is is running away. From insecurity matter because he know the truth. 
And if he try, do otherwise, he go, he go receive water, water. He's already paying allegiance. He knows that over the what? security is being over what? He has been paid or what? Over what? Over he, what? The, the security is caused by the power that be now. He knows everything now. You cannot go de deal with but, people. But some governors like the WK, uh, but some governors are fighting back. Like WK and the boys. They are fearless. He himself, they fight another, he they find another but, position from here. But why, why is he not fearless in demolishing houses? 1,000 houses plus. Hey, now. He can't interest for them now. Now he be governor now. Huh? He won't collect he those for, blood what they do personal for, business. Now he go left house after all. Uh, Osho Mele that brought him built, use our money, go build university. He and Osho Mele I build that invest you. Now he provide the money. Yeah, because right. uh, water, water project, no, water store money, uh, he is involved. Everything Osho Mele stole, Obaseki is involved in it. Obaseki knew too much about Osho Mele. And now that system, now he wants to get him on back. He's doing everything, eh? He's super rich. The first four years, his company enter a uh, share market. As a governor, he, his company enter into share, share market, stock exchange market. Where the money come from? They are drying at those state people and a lot of you are still saying, hey, Vavau, it's a shame. I think one will be the supporter of the Rogo UK. <laughs> you know, social media. <laughs> <laughs> After I don't collect money for evil, cut his in. What does he say? They don't, they don't use a dump. This guy, they use dump. If you don't need you again, he will dump you. He will raise another force against you. If he starts you don't know. That's what Basaki for you. He will, he will use dump you. Why is he deputy? I know they fear talk. I've seen me. Not be today. The deputy not down here, down a confirmed cultist, heavy one, but bow. You they talk, uh, lefty, you are talking because your your building in Lagos, you know, they believe, say, gas for being, you know, talk like Leave this. Leave that matter. Leave <laughs> that matter. <laughs> you know, go, you know, go understand. See, they know they touch, your black like will be, you know, if you touch them, because your hands clean. You go look and who will he be? He not eat from you. He not do anything wrong. You don't see anything you want to hold on. You go look and say, now the right thing, now they talk now for the betterment of everybody. My brother, when I'm a guy, I've been using this word. I know said, Bini, it's very risky. We know, I don't want to go there. No, no, go there. No, no, go there. But you talk, oh, wow. You not talk, oh, you go still die. Why you go the fear to talk? Make you die. You talk, you go die. You not talk, you go die. So why you the fear? Not be able like die. Now nah, 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 your house are they talking? Uh, people say nah, people from Nigeria. Many of them within uh, uh, Nigeria, they can't go to Nigeria. They can't enter Nigeria because because they talk about government. Yes, anything they like, made their plan. Anything they want to do, we they wait. We they, we not the fear. We not the fear again because I tell you. At a time in man's life, just embrace that. But before you embrace that, not embrace that, mumulio, you. you will die for nothing. Equip yourself. Tell that, say, say, I don't ready for you. If you want to kill me for the truth, come kill me. You go, I can't leave you. That go see you. You go, I can't leave you. Now, what I talk. Make sure say your hand clean. First thing, bros. Make sure say your hand clean. Not collect for person. Not steal person. Oh. Not do bad business with person. You cannot be, be, be human. You, you cannot be, you know, if you give yourself to society for service, make the same people just come kill you. Oh, you know, they collect one error from them. Make sure so you know they collect one error from them. That you go, they save you, they go. Where people know they enter, you go enter, you pass a command. Ah, now you don't touch that more. Ah, no, 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 not touch that guy. Ah, no. Just let your hand clean. We, many of us will not die if our hand not clean. We will not last one minute. So don't die. Die to wait. They'll get reason to come after you. Let them not have reason to come after you. See, they'll get reason to go after Bobby. Uh, what's it be named? They'll get reason to go after Bobby at that time. Let them not have reason to go after you. They'll go find reason. They'll not go see. 
they'll begin to ask ourselves question. What it be your intention? You don't want to be politics. You don't be a politician. But you are doing it because it is the truth and it is for the people. Just that's just it. Let your hand be clean. Just let your hand be clean. So, brother, nice. You see, say you, money where they give you, you don't waste. You know, if you come our channel, come here, come they, come they talk about things where you know, say, Mr. Mr. Leftist, you know, not say, be about money, not be about money. Now, the very intelligent question I ask you now, I just want to see what it will be on our choice among the three people we don't come. That's all. No, this well, one. I'm gonna give you my own choice now. I give an honor of others. Uh -huh, that, that's all. Not, not, that, that, not put that money on. Not put that money. But that is not just part of it. So we mentioned lucky. Right? After lucky, you mention so money. Obasaki is not just part of it at all. Because Obasaki, Obasaki come through so money. Now the bad bad thing for so money side. Now Obasaki come is a bit. Obasaki come collect. He come swallow. Carry go Lagos. Obasaki, they come, now you carry that go to come. They want to carry your land. They want to invest. They want to finish it. Obasaki is a businessman. It's not, it's not a leader. It's a businessman. He does not do anything with business where money not go come out. A very wicked businessman, a very dangerous a one. Businessman. He has nothing, he has no interest. Forget anything we can't do. They do it. He has no interest. He's a fucking garden. Oh, lucky. There is effort. I don't invest. Pure businessman. Any time money not day, Obaseki won't seem there. And he's enriching himself and his family and his friends every day. You cannot deny that. How can you destroy a library? You kill education. Go and see within a suburb, the primary, whatever project. Go to Edo State and find out about educational level. Obaseki finish education through his soccer, one of his cousins. They are finished. They don't say government property finish. Hey, I swear. They don't finish at those states. Obaseki now present in Ibu. He came from Lagos to come and rip Edo. He came from Lagos to come and rip Edo. We hear, we don't hear. Come on, come on. Every contract is Lagos here. You know they give Edo person contract now. That make the Fed get problem for APC now. Any small contract, where Edo man will do. Who prefer them to give one person for Lagos, though from Lagos come to one and that person could go pay tax for Lagos. So. What are you telling me now? He not live in, he not stayed in it before now. He has nothing to do with it. He not get anything to lose. When they finish, he fin he time go pack a kaya, go from Lagos. They organize the business when he don't set for me through proxy. Process. That uh, um, uh, uh, library with a with a breakdown. Now my papa and I they sell and give. Eh? The central hospital. Whatever management they want put there, now my papa on. Check and where. Now proxy. All this Dubai where you where you say you want build so. Go check and where. Whether our government Dubai. Go do what you should like do. Partnership at the end, it will be proper. Whether, uh, uh, whether it go really build down, then the you go ask. No, <laughs> since, since there is an interest, eh, there is an interest. Go fair procure and well, we be go procure in a way that at the end of the day, no government go conflict take her through court or anything. You know, put in name, we'll go put on government, uh, government, uh, pri private partnership, and they go get contract. They'll say at the time. Government go follow and manage and come live for government later. That Nalayo clause go do for her to live for government for that later. Clause go do later, they go for fit and to run. They know what they do. Someone don't take and carry university. So, Mr. Najah, we don't go to the you know, not also in a private university. You see, now those state university want go build. Now, state now another state. I think this man want build university for himself. He never, the university, she una I don't open say not the government get university. And if you watch where Obaseki handy for that university, I think people will, will graduate of recent. I, I don't know how many people would graduate for that university. Obaseki give civil service job. Apple man, they there. How many people don't give civil service job? People that graduated in that 
Oshomoni University, Obaseki gave them civil service. I don't forget how many numbers. I mean, I know they are aware. They'll come, come public on they say, ta -ta 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 -ta. meanwhile, they are using they are, they are using our head, collecting the money, finishing us. No, 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 for me, I don't liberate myself. Oh. Me, I'm free from all this. I don't do that people level again. We they go just do street light. Hey, ba -ba -oh. I don't do that level again. But I'm nice. The country where you did, I be. That's that's like they did. Now they did. Now they did. The major government, government, uh, 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 good government. Now road that they make sure good government, good governors, good governors. Now road. Answer me, brother. Nice. Now street light and road where you can't talk for yes, sir. Mr. Leftist, calm down. Everything will, no. everything will change it very soon. Leftist, leftist, let's not uh, let's not forget the topic of the you don't do leave uh, nice the long. He has been answered. No, no, let's no, go we back. We already finished our topic oh, for now. Uh, okay, 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 okay. No, okay, okay, okay. We've already finished. We've already finished our topic. We, that's why we we'll get time to talk about brother nice. Uh, uh, this, uh what did the the Senate may come do for here? Uh -huh. Now we say more attend to that. More we'll give our water, water, so that if you go, you go carry news, go bad. They go to see us. So the, the the you come Nigeria world before one can say Obaseki is better, and Mr. you cannot Mr. do Mr. that. Mr. Lefties, Sir? not be everybody we ask, not be everybody we ask some intellectual question. Now every person. But uh, Branes, Branes, you understand? Branes, to be to, to be very honest, eh? Yeah. This is very unlike you, yeah. and you've been you you've seen everything with this government since uh, like three four years ago now, and you are among the people that have been very angry with this government for a long time. So I'm surprised that you're studying studying questions and studying journalism. That you are trying to do here, but I'm sorry. I know you. I know you are a very straightforward person, principled person. You, you love the poor people. I don't know why this uh, sudden comparison and with the body language. I don't. I'm not seeing you. Although with the voice, uh, I can see that you are drifting towards the Abaseki's uh, uh, activities no, 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 or no. escapade. No, 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 no. You are celebrating it's street lights. It's very no, street lights. No, street no, lights. No, street no, lights. No, I'm no, Alex, oh, nice. Alex, somebody Alex, remind you, don't forget, say, Obasaki, now if I bring a uh, plan where come, uh, those I'm telling you, yes, it's it come. Say, it. Don't do it, they start that bad business. 19, in, in, in the 1980s, I mean 1990s, it destroyed people's families. People died. Man, Kill people, no, ritual. Man, uh, then a ritual. Not many people die uh, for power. Let, man, let, let, it, let it, guess what? When Oshomole brought him, Oba, the late Oba, Ask Oshomole to get him out of, out of those states before he does something bad to him. He had to go and beg, call chiefs, people beg for him that he's a change man. He's a change man, he's a change man. That's how the late Oba allowed him to come and join Oshomole economic team. He left those states for a very long time. He was banished. This man you are seeing. So, uh, for such a man, how did we end up like this? Oshomole, according to you, left this. You are very courageous. Oshomole, see, one deadly brought him, step on toes. People, I mean, people were disappointed. But Shomole was so good to many people at, at, at the time that they were, they would just listen to him. But even him, he came out to apologize that he brought a snake. He said it. He's on the media. He said, I brought a snake. I didn't know. He pretended. So the same governor now, I've shown all of us that he does not care whether the people are killed. He does not care about governors. He does not care. He brought, he bring useless projects. He lied to us. He complete the ones I can that that he did not start. He destroyed the one he met. A lot of confused governors. He's not trained. He's not prepared for it. So next time uh, we will not allow Alex, Godfather to bring anybody to us. Alex, before you will go for that, self, did we forget that the same Obasaki was refusing to pass this anti greasy uh, bill? You you know the problem he caused before he let Thank the, you. Nah, made it. With the Southern governor too. The, 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 the Southern governor. You forgot he, that. Uh, uh, used to pass at crazy bill, he said he cannot he, pass it. If not, if not, Niger watched, eh? Or oh, oh, was prepared to give 20 minutes uh, 20 uh, percent of a dollar to full and his If not, Niger was and civil head of an because he wanted he had an agreement with them, you know what he wants. Yes, this, he, this Niger was mobilized and the uh, uh, civil rights organization and other system media they stopped that view. 
People were crying not in the two states. The people ah. were crying. Obasi came from the beginning. He agreed with mm. them. You forget. He agreed with them, the South South uh, governor. He went with the meeting. Then he, he went with back. He agreed. Then that came yes. back to his state and turned against them. Why did they call him? Um, why is anybody calling him a traitor? We can call him a traitor. The Danobi call him a traitor. Oshomole call him a traitor. People are everywhere. APC, PDP, people, people dislike the guy. Even the palace at the time, it, they were not good terms. So how can you say that that one is a leader, a fighter? It's a business and, uh, man. Well, that people said, are not the, from him. Not the topic of today. We are talking about yeah. good governance, and uh, Borana is also just brought. Uh, one thing that would catalyze us from our topic to talk about Edo State. It was it was okay. Me, I give my own scoreboard. Down on my own, everybody gets your own scoreboard. So that's just for that, for Brother Nice. So we'll be giving like two, two minutes to everybody. We'll be rounding up. But before we do that, we want to say thank you to everybody today that have joined us in this today's broadcast, Christmas broadcast. It will sweet me. Christmas broadcast properly. God go bless you now for joining us. Everybody in the comment section will say thank you very much. And for those that didn't even allow us to talk from beginning, super chat, super chat, super chat. Ah, now God go bless. Now we have so many of you. Alexander Gomez, thank you. Edulize Watch, Patty Solomon, Edulize Watch, Alexander Gomez, Marke Rabo, Edulize Watch, Marke Rabo, uh, Prophet Elijah, Edulize Watch, uh, Antonio Biora, Harry Harry. Uh, Prophet Elijah, Edulai Watch, Makera Bo, Rita Adams, Alexander Gomez, Edulai Watch, Prophet Elijah again, yes, and uh, Patty Solomon again, Edulai Watch, then uh, John John Chris Obabwizi, yes, then from there, Jaja, Edulai Watch, uh, uh, Prophet Elijah, Amazing Grace USA, then uh, Adam Somola, Yes, Joy Ehigi. Then we now have Joseph Oji. Finally, we now have Esther on our set. These were the people that actually did us to patch up today. God go bless you now. It says that we they take record of Una, we know they forget Una. God go bless you now. Then for the people we come today for panel, Alice, thank you very much. Now you just felt thank that for here. As you come, God sent. Uh, brother nice follow you but brother nice stay stay he can't come out then peter could i come in of it with night come out then madarita can't come the omo yes corners can't come then uh peter uh, brother nice can't come back again then engineer can come join come but i can just heal us he not really come uh talk because he not get time you want just flex enjoy yourself to dinner christmas then we only get uh, two people who call us today. And uh, that's Monday morning. Call us. Thank you very much. And uh, Brother Victor, uh, we'll get that call. That is where the two calls we we'll get today. And uh, we just did uh, how many video? Can I talk about video? It's a chill, chill, Dino Malaya and the uh, APC man. I know who put that man head, name for head. Sometimes all these people name me no one know again because they are not important to me. Uh -huh. They will come do video of uh, how he had for Nigeria as we speak. Come out to buy chicken, not be here. Come out to buy rice, not be here. Those were the videos. Before we come finally do video of Peter or B. Wait for, wait for tell and say, buy on that money that he share. If you can't be like that, say they don't rest, they must give on that money. Collect the money. Still vote that your conscience. Not vote them because now your money is effective. Neither they give. So these were the videos we did today. Before Brother Nice can carry on or uh, Benny Mata now and Obasaki Mata. But one can sell here. But we don't cancel that market. We tear tear the market, eh? Put that for dustbin. Now bad man. It's a leftist. Okay, Obasek leftist. Don't, 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 don't hack your this thing, your network. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think leftists have uh, an issue there. Leftists, can you hear me? Would they hear you? Okay, we lost you there. We lost you. Oh, maybe maybe now when I talk to Baranice, then they won't pay me back. But sorry. 
the network don't come back. If now you be the try one dragon, it don't work. Now we have a new person that just joining us as we are running up. Chi, 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 Obi. You go wait to uh -huh. with the round up. Now you they come. But these two two minutes, as they go around, if you reach your side, if you have something to say, we will still allow you talk before we finally say bye bye for today. So, um, Alice, use your two minutes. Yes, thank you, Mr. Niger Watch. Thank you, Mr. Leftist. Thank you, viewers. Those on the comment section, I salute you all. We are together in this. We may agree, we may not agree sometimes. We are one. There's nothing personal. There's something that you brought to my mind. Eki Binedion did a lot for Edo women those days. I saw it with my eyes. She was moving from market to market, empowering women, listening to their problems, receiving girls who were coming from abroad, from prostitution or whatever, bringing them into rehabilitation center like that, Idia, Idia, Renaissance. It was a very fantastic thing. Even guys would go there and learn how to do one or two hand work and it would empower them when they are done learning. After two, three months, it will empower them to start their shop. I saw that program. You know, I don't just talk. I don't just criticize people. Eki Binedion was a, um, a rare gem. She was a wonderful first lady for Edo State. She was a great mother to the state. The, the, the man may not be perfect. The man may be corrupt, but Eki, Eki Binedion must not be forgotten. That's something Mr. Leftist reminded me today because I really saw that everything she was doing. She was always on edge. She was always on ground. She was always at different pulley units, different world, different markets. She was always at, even at that, at that idea, idea renaissance, where people go and learn trade and learn some stuff, to learn skills, how to cook, how to bake, how to, uh, you know, um, uh, make hair and so on and so forth. That, that on one corner. And uh, as for, as for the uh, Obidati movement, you see, they expected us to lose steam, according to uh, those state governor who's not performing. Corrupt governor, he said the OB movement will lose steam last three, four months or so, but we are gaining momentum. In every way they, they want to come, God always shows us a way out. OB has been very organized, so let us continue pushing. We are almost there. In a few days' time, we'll be in January. They will not be saying election is next month. So, guys, we are there. We are almost there. We are going to say we did it. Don't be discouraged. Let's keep encouraging people. Like Madam Rita said, we should sponsor uh, a party agent. Yes, yes. Even if it's 5K on that day, somebody that will have a smartphone that will tell us what's happening in their units, in their in their ward. Somebody that will record things, especially the voting process and everything, the result the declaration in different wards, different units, just to bring to Nigeria so that we can have it in our records in case of manipulations. So it's a very fantastic one. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria and your team. Thank you, everybody, for this fight and all sister platform who mean well for Nigerians. I thank you all. God will help us. With God, we shall overcome next year. We'll fight and take back our country. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Um, why I, I decided to put the number on the screen. Uh, Chijo B, you said you want to know our uh, WhatsApp and group number. This is the WhatsApp group number on the screen. You can have, take your time to take it and send message. You, I, I see you saying you want to get personal um, you want to get to Elvis personally, but no, you can talk. Take this WhatsApp number, write to the WhatsApp number, and you will be added. Then whatever you want to discuss, we will take it up from there. Thank you very much, uh, GGOB. That's the WhatsApp number. Then uh, Mr. Allen just reminded me something I almost forgot when I was uh, when we were talking about um, um, Lucky Benedio's uh, regime. Um, me, you, uh, Alex, you remind me of, uh, although I brought a case issue, but I didn't remember that youth house in Akpapava. Yes, where they were going to learn skill acquisition center. Alex John reminded me that now. That skill acquisition center was built during Lucky Igminidion time. I think it was empowered through but the letter converted it oh. I dropped my 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 friends there who were working there. They, they later converted some of the rooms into uh, tailoring and uh, 
and, okay. and uh, maybe center too. Later converted, but Indianism was the the office then, where you can go to and talk with them if you have issues. Especially, she was really into all this. Um, uh, ladies shouldn't travel; they shouldn't sell themselves. They can do something better, better than going to sell themselves. That was a key uh, project, and that quick uh, um, skill acquisition center that was built in Akpapava, almost opposite um, uh, that uh, secondary school. Uh, well, uh, what that secondary school? I mean, primary school name, a very big primary school. It, I think it was during that lucky. You can see some project. I, 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 if not the small thing, maybe Obaseki for don't collect that land. Eh? Say, in the build Bini, in the renovate Bini, we collect that land for say that hall. For not be youth where they use them for public functions, they go they do meetings. I swear, if we don't, if we don't reclaim them, relocate and go, maybe you borrow. One new size, in one you go relocate them because this choice lands now basically the correct choice properties. I'm saying they relocate the thing, go the other area, go use the land for another thing. We switching your own purpose, not the Edo state purpose. You just reminded me that yes, we don't almost uh, the other people don't come out like Madame Moye, Madame Rita, they don't want to really talk about this. Uh, Obaseki matter. So they just they they not get interest for them. They know just was one waste their time. So brother Nice, talk to us two minutes. Okay. Uh before Brother Nice will say something, um Brother Nice, we want you to understand that when that topic that you brought here, um leftist was not at attacking you. It's a normal way of talking to our people here. Um to to spice in it up with you. So, because I listened to the part where you were saying that nobody paid you and all that, no, it's just a joke. So you should you should understand us by now. You know, you shouldn't take things like that personal. All right, um, I want to join my brother leftist to appreciate every one of you that have supported us today. Merry Christmas to you all once again. Thank you, thank you. As we all celebrated today, by the special grace of Almighty God, we all are gonna come back here to celebrate the first of January 2023. And we always stay come back again in February 25th to celebrate Mr. Peter Obi as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very, very much, my people. Now, let down as I make I add, every one of you that super chatted us, that shared our videos, that have liked our videos, our spectators, our, our panelists, may God bless every one of you. Without you guys, we cannot do what we are doing today. Thank you very much. Brother Nice, back to you. All right, yeah, thank you, my people. Yeah, no, I, I did not take it any. any you, know, you see, I'm just laughing. When Brother you Nice. Talk. Yeah. I hear you, Mr. Leftist. You want to say something? Hearing him. Well, he's oh. hearing him. Yes, he's talking. He's already talking. Lefty, they don't attack leftists. Um... Mm -hmm. I don't hear him again. Yeah. He's off my side. Okay, he's yeah. talking. So I said, uh, yeah, I said his family right here. So I will nothing. Nothing will go on here that will take serious. Uh, this is family, you know? so it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, right. I. Yeah, we pray for better days ahead. We know it's getting close, and uh, I just want to use this medium to to appreciate uh, Alice. Alice has been doing it. Keep on putting on the fire. Fire keep on burning, you know. So thank you, uh, Mr. Alice, and. Uh, yeah, I want to you 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 state something right now, Mr. Alex, that uh, whether Eki uh, Eki uh, Benedion brought uh, was was he, he empowered those people that was on the street and all that, or those women the prostitute. But I want to remind you that they are the one that brought those prostitutes from Italy. So that is what he's supposed to do. You understand? So the, the husband went to Italy to deport them back to Nigeria. So that is just for that. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. I have no, I have nothing much to say. Thank you so very much. Thank you, brother. Nice. All right. So much. Thank you, brother. Nice. Um, thank you for remembering us. One of the projects of um, uh, uh, Benedio. That was a laudable project, which many of us supported as of that time. Uh, on that note, we want to say thank you all. Uh, I think um, we'll be drawing the curtains. Here. Happy All Christmas. Right.
once more from my side and uh, happy new year in advance okay thank you very much my people and uh take care and we'll join you again tomorrow morning remember we are here Monday to saturday 10 a.m in the morning for newspaper review 5 p.m evening um monday to thursday why friday saturday and sunday we are here 6 p.m why friday is special as is a debate so endeavor to join us for our new subscribers we want to say thank you very much for joining us today uh thank you for always being here we appreciate every one of you uh don't worry you're not going to be disappointed if you are here for a better nigeria you're in the right place thank you very much a mother of all mommy diaspora thank you very much mommy may god bless you we appreciate you always 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 all right, my people. Uh, yes, my brother. Please, Please. let me just tell Brianes that yes, uh, they, they deported those ladies from Italy, but Kigunejo uh, did not also deport our market women that she was empowering. Our youth, our young youth, who, who she was also empowering, those who were back home, especially the market women. I saw her in Olia market, I saw her in Oba market, I saw her in Ekiwa, I saw her in uh, New Bini. She was a wonderful woman. You know, I know how to criticize people a lot. For me to say this, I saw it, I just forgot all this while. It skipped me. That woman was wonderful. We should try to remember sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, good night, my people. I might be coming back again later on, but I'm not certain about it. If not, we'll say again tomorrow. By God's hey, we'll wait till I die. Now we're power turning. Hey, and it's hey, Christmas. You never know. He, 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 my brother, I bought them, I bought them. Listen. Everybody where they wash us since everybody they say house they chop turkey, uh, they drink uh, wine or anything. No, I bet you 89% of everybody where they wash us, they don't see party go for abroad as long as you are living abroad. Now, Niger now, as I finish now, I say, okay, uh, make I dress, make I put my hoodie for head. Make now I don't want you to But me day, 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 but me day, 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 but I'm still the panel. Uh, no, 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 yeah. uh, Mr. Alex, you, you are. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe you. Oh, okay, you are not My name is Ta. You know he said. You are. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. Alice is different. Alice is not someone that is everywhere. He's just in one particular place fighting for a better Nigeria. I'm talking about people who like flexing, who want to enjoy life. Now, I, I like flexing you too now. Alice, uh -huh. Alice, make make a. Now, I like flexing you. Alex, take a easy. No, so well, Alex, take a take a easy. Alex, what he Elvis they tell you now? Be say, what he just <laughs> say now? Be say, not like home. So if not Nigeria, I will yes. see. Yes, we'll I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pulling it left. I know. One, you see one bar, one car wash. Even if you not get party, go. You just go the car wash. Yes, you see now. people they call the bubble. You don't talk you see now. Your Alex, yeah, you, you know, don't say yeah. like that. You don't inside your house, bro. Alex, if not Nigeria, D, as we end this show, so. They don't shine my mouth. I don't enter. I don't. I don't enter streets. You don't ball out. Many don't places. Mm. It they happen. Uh -uh. I don't enter. I don't. If you know off. the boredom, if you know the boredom where they are. You see, uh, Mr. Evans, I try going on in the afternoon. If, if you see uh, every event center, every eatery, exactly. every bathroom, it's it's everywhere it's filled up with people, families that everywhere. Is, that is what we that live in diaspora is missing. We are but now, not still for here, pastor. Now, most people where they are abroad, if you see their English and eh, you're gonna say this are not the Nigeria. And no, <laughs> what I mean now, few way take the risk and wait 50 go after we get paid by me. Now, yeah, it's go. true. And but true. the best place you can really enjoy Christmas now, our country. That's why we are of fighting for our country right now. Make we for free the go house. Our brother don't tire many people. Many people don't make this money. Where would they talk? So, so go back to the problem, my brother. Another topic. Oh God. Uh, since you say you still come out, we we'll go we we'll go leave you here. If you still come out. All right. Bye, my people. I love you all. Bye for now. Good night.